What's going on everybody? Welcome to another live stream. This one's going to be pretty different. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of interacting. This is mostly going to be a build cam kind of stream. I'm in like production mode, uh, but I didn't want to neglect you guys because I do have the baby coming within this week, so I won't be doing a lot of content so I'm gonna try to do live stuff when I can and once things settle down I'll get back into tutorials I have a big list um, patreon guys I'm going to be sending out the giveaway very soon uh, thank you everybody for tuning in thank you for anybody watching the replay I'm gonna chit chat with you guys chit chat uh, a little bit right now and then I will um, get to building but I just wanted to uh, go over a couple things. Uh, Jordan asked in the chat if I can do a video on stacking ribbon. And I have a whole video on ribbon wire already. And if you watch any of my framed builds, like my staple, any of my staple builds, alien frame staple, 46 gauge frame staple, any of those, I go over different tips and stuff about stacking ribbon in those videos. If you have any other questions, get a hold of me and if I have enough requests I'll do a video uh, want to let you guys know I have a bunch of build tools coming to the website I have swivels and staggerers on the website now I also have a few other things that I've added but I wanted to show you this ready Oh, 
Okay. So here's, here's some of the things that I'm going to be putting on the website. Now I do, I have the build clamps on there now. These are useful for a million different things. Never realize how useful they are until you have them. But so I found these little guys and this thing is absolutely phenomenal. It's a million little, all the little size torque heads, little hex heads. So you never need to go stumbling around to find the one that you need. Check those out. There's um, seven different ones, seven different sizes, all on one little, um, I don't know what the, in one little package. So I found that and it's been exceptionally useful. I can't tell you how awesome that's been. But so I also found, um, you know, a bit set for wrapping coils and I have flush cuts, um, my favorite pair of scissors for cotton. I'm dropping everything, of course. Uh, the exact flush cuts that I use and then um, the exact pairs of um, tweezers and I actually added this guy to the collection now he actually has teeth and I've been using this for doing wire prep because it's easier to grab on to the wire with the actual teeth that helps get a better like clamp on it so I've been really pumped for those it's made life a lot easier and of course I have uh, the swivels on there already and the staggerer and I also have a few other things, so keep an eye out for these. These are coming soon. I might do like a package uh, kind of thing. I'm, I'm like working towards putting together a complete build kit for guys who are like, or girls, guys or girls who are just getting into building. Um, that way they can have everything that they need and not have to go searching. Just, you know, like the things that you actually need, not like a bunch of crazy shit. Um, I'm not doing like a huge major markup on anything because I want, uh, I want like the tools that you need to be accessible. So I'm not, I'm not like marking them up like crazy. So I'll get that stuff up soon. I'm still taking like product pictures, but I promise those, uh, those will get up. Um, so for the couple guys that were asking me, um, about the, the build kits I'm getting there. As I said, swivels and stuff like that are on the site. Now, the 10% off code is good on anything on the website. And uh, let's see. I think that's it. I covered the Patreon giveaway. I covered... Um, oh, I'll also have uh, for the Patre Patreon guys, uh, I'm almost done compiling the wallpaper pack. Uh, so I'm, I'm going through to find like my best uh, pictures that I've taken of my coils and uploading the, um, the high res, um, the, f the 4k versions. And those will be available through the website. I think I'm also going to put them up for purchase on the website, but we'll see, but I will let you guys know when I get there. Um, what else? Oh, I also have a new addition to the, uh, the, the build family here. I finally got a different kind of stand for the drill. I'm going to be testing this out today for the first time and see if it's any better than my old setup. I really, my old setup was like uh, specifically tailored to my building style, but I think this is going to allow me a little bit of mo uh, mobility still. Maybe not, I don't know. I don't know, we're gonna see if it's gonna work for my style. Um, so I'll, I'll pop up occasionally and uh, interact with you guys. Uh, I'm going to start this session with some 2636 fused Claptons. Then from there, I'm not sure where I'm going to go. Maybe in Aliens, but we'll see when I get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some music for you guys. I'm going to mute the mic because the drill is exceptionally loud. But before I get into that, I'm going to just see what's going on in uh, chat. What's going on, Eric? Got Gentleman's E-Liquid all about the vapor. Danny, Tamara, what's up? Got a bunch of familiar faces. All right, so thanks, uh, thanks everybody for joining, and uh, I'm gonna get right into it here. 
Let me get everything set up. This is, I get to binge and build at the same time. Right now I'm rocking Preacher on AMC. I'm catching up on season one so I could start watching season two. Will Boyles, man, thank you so much for the $2 donation. That is awesome. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. What's going on, Aaron? All right, I'm gonna start you guys off with some sweet tunes and then I'm gonna start building.
All right, so we had a surprise guest today. What's going on? Let's see what's going on in chat. Is anybody still watching? Oh, yeah, we got some watchers. All right, guys, what's going on? <laughs> I'm here with, uh, we have uh, CK Clouds visiting. What up? With the Z, CK Clouds with the Z. But don't bother checking his Instagram. It sucks. It's not cool. It's not good at all. We got Country Living in the house. Country Living hit 500 subscribers, I think, today or yesterday. So thank you to everybody for helping out with that. Cool. I guess he's doing a giveaway for the occasion. So if you're not already, go subscribe and get uh, get in on that that little uh, give giveaway. 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 giveaway, giveaway. giveaway. <laughs> Gentlemen, supersonic cleaners. Yeah, um, oh, shit. So, uh, the ultrasonic cleaners are good for for everything. I clean my glasses with it. I clean all kinds of stuff. They were initially meant for like jewelry and kitchen uh, knives and all kinds of stuff, but we've sort of repurposed them in the in the vaping industry. But you could definitely clean out juice bottles with them. Glass will obviously work better than plastic will, but yeah, I highly recommend them. If there is any kind of, um, like if there's uh, like a background noise, I have a machine running down here, so that's that's what you're picking up. So I don't know how I feel about this yet. What? I changed, I had the, I had that vice on a basket set up first, remember? Yeah. And so I got this guy today. Is it? It's supposed to be a suction cup, but uh, I need mobility. Like I can't have it stationary. Yeah, yeah. But it's just the. It's a little weird. I wish it had a, a bigger base plate. I think I mean. I think it's just the shape of it. It's kind of throwing you off. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'll get used to it. Or you can actually get a suction cup to your shit. Yeah, I can move that and suction cup it. But then I lose mobility, so I don't. Don't really know. So uh, that was phenomenal. The. Um, Salty? Hell the yeah, salty. dude. salty. What flavor was that? It's uh, grapple melon. Uh, so grape. Grape, apple, watermelon. Wow. And ice. And ice. Yeah, menthol. Wow. But there's like a mint in there too. Yeah, that was uh, that was pleasant. It's nice, right? Like, I didn't expect that. that the menthol is nice. The apple. Yeah. I mean, I don't think any apple flavor from the juice kind of like sticks to you. It's kind of like a flavor that comes and goes quickly. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the the desserts like the, you know, custards, danishes, they all stick with you. Yeah, they're heavy. Yeah. I like it. It's good. I want to try that peanut butter. Dude, this thing is fucking fantastic. What is that? This is the uh, Cleto oh. XO. Wow. It's nice. What kind of coil is it? It's the original Cleto coil. It's just got the air style, airflow, like it's crazy. It goes down in between the, that is so and the glass unrestricted. and then comes up. Yep. You this remember the Cleto 120, right? You had one. I have the. I yeah. have it. Yeah. So that 0.16 coil, they actually shrunk that down to fit the Cleto. So now you can take the coil that's in the 120 and put it in the original. The custard, vanilla custard. Yeah, that's the one from uh, Vaptasia, Killer Custard. Yeah, it's. Yeah, the one Mikey had. Mm -hmm. One of your batteries is higher than the others. They've been like that, dude. I switch them up, put different batteries in it. It's just is it one this? bay, yeah. One bay, ever since I updated it. So is it reading it differently? No, I mean... Or is it accurate? It's accurate. I'll take them off, put them on the charger, and they'll be the same. It's just the device itself. Is pulling different? Yeah. Wow. That last one... I don't know why. Wow. Yeah. Does that worry you? I know you're crazy. Not no, no. I mean, they're, I'm not running it at fucking 100 watts. I'm running it at like 50 all day Is that long. all that was? That 50 that I just hit it no, at? No, that was at like 30. Let me hit that higher. 40. Don't go past 49. For some reason, the coil burns. It's a brand new fucking coil, too. I don't understand. And you don't need to run it above 50, either. I mean, it's a .27 coil, and it fires... Like Ooh. crazy at 40 watts. Yeah, 47 is like nice. Right? No, I'm at no. 48. It was kind of nice. Okay. 
It says the max you can run that at is 55. Now, yeah, it's 40, right. 48 straight. You get the little bit of burn through yeah. it, but I'm still getting a lot That's of flavor. That's a brand new coil, dude. Not even like an hour old. That could be why. Or is it doing it with all the quits? It's doing it with all of them so far. The point one six. The I would run that at like 110. Thing, you can run that one at, I run it nicely at like 75, 80. And it's been like three weeks like that. I need new coils for that aspire, or that Cleto tank. Or they just, yeah, you the, need the RTA section. I think that thing needs to be run across all the platforms for this tank. I don't give a fuck what it is. That good? Yeah, dude. It's just fantastic. You can run it nicely at 80 watts all day long, every day. Jesus. It's just, it's easier than fucking around with these things and spending five bucks per coil. Per coil, yeah. I mean, unless you're shopping <laughs> online. That's why I think everybody should learn how to build because yeah, just even if it's single wire, saves you so much fucking money. Yeah, even if you're just doing like a 24 gauge single round wire build, 10 wraps, 11 10 wrap wraps. wraps. Yeah, you buy 100 feet for, for 10 bucks or whatever it is. Yeah, and you're good. Those are delicious. The flavored sparkling waters. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Yeah, I drink so that shit good. like crazy. Country, are you home? Chocolate covered peanut butter rice crispy treat last night. That's the juice country made. No shit. Yeah. How'd that go? He loves it. He loves it. And he he knows how hard chocolate is to get right. So Where are you getting your flavors from? All over the place. Really? Yeah, he gets them from like all the different sites. Capella, Flavor Apprentice, Flavora. I He's heard Bull City Vapors makes like the best shit. Yeah, it's out of Chicago. Uh, country, what do you know about Bull City Vapor? <clears throat> I want to get him on uh, on the chat here. Country, are you working? How do I get to Zoom? All right, let me. I'm gonna send you a. Uh, a thing here. Alright, bear with me guys. I don't know if this is gonna work because... Oh fuck. Alright. Um, da, 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 da. You guys know how great I am with technology. Alright, give me, give me a minute. Here. Nicotine River, Bull City is a good site to buy DIY flavors, says Juan Castillo. Fuck yeah. Wonderful. Country, I send you I sent you an invite via um um what's it called? So I don't know. you get the link? God, I'm so bad with this. I don't know how to send the link via um, via email. There he is. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Got Look him. at you being all Look at you being all technology savvy and all that. Look at you. I figured it out. It's like watching my two year old learn how to walk. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? Not much. Hanging out. I was gonna do a build session, but then Colin came over, so here we are. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, it's about time he does this. I know people <laughs> I can't be the only one who finds it just 
relaxing to watch someone spin coals. <laughs> no, it is. It's got some sort of like therapeutic shit going on. Right. What's that over there? Yeah, man. Hey, when it comes to Bull City, what? Bull yeah. City is a great place. Uh, uh, yeah. There's a tiny bit left. <laughs> we got puffing on there, but we got puffing on. We've got some uh, Pound Town. See, that's what I don't like about those big bottles is like you can't get the little bitty. Fuck. Yeah, like it's in there, but you can't Damn get it. it out. Such a cock tease. Um, Colin's got some uh, vanilla custard by Vaptasia. Uh, on his um, monster mod in an Aspire tank. Oh, fuck, dude. Did I burn you? No, it's just I can't it's believe okay. that a coil that's fucking two hours old is burning. We're having an issue with the XO, and I think you're... Oh, no, there you are. Oh, look, there it is. Is it burnt? It's fucking burnt. Look at it. Oh, it is burning. Yeah. Wow. What, yeah. what issue are you having with that coil, man? It's brand it's new. brand new coil. It's like maybe three hours old, and I just bring it past 40 watts, and it burns. What are, what are you having on? What's that RDA? Uh, this is the Exo tank from Aspire. It's a sub ohm tank. It's a new tank from those guys. Oh, okay, okay. So it's um, like a brand new pre-manufactured coil that should have more life than... Fuck. It should get at least a week... You know, unless you're vaping it really, really hard. Oh yeah. What's the, is there? I wonder. I wonder if it was just. Uh, I'm sure you're within the recommended range. Um, oh yeah. Below I it. I wonder no, if. Uh, it. I wonder if it's just a defective coil. Maybe it's shorting out in there somewhere. This is the issue that they were having in the beginning. Really? Yeah. What? So what would make it do that? Just them not paying attention to the quality of their shit. Bad cotton just, or a bad coil? Uh, just hot spots from the coil. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You don't that happen do to it. have a you don't happen to have a preheat function on that mod turned on, do you? The way I don't, preheats no. like okay. No. I, I made that mistake once. I had preheat for like two hundred for a half a second on a yeah. fifty watt coil. <laughs> so why is it burning out every time I touch it? <laughs> yeah. Um I I don't know man, it sounds weird. Probably just a defective coil, I'd say. Or does it happen with all the coils? Mr. Miles says if I can't rebuild it, I'm not interested. I'm I'm the same uh, same boat with you, buddy. Yo, man, I've been like that for a while, but I'm telling you, I haven't. I'm, I got a tank that introduced to me just a few days ago that I'm loving. It's that Captain tank. I'm, I'm telling this is a really good freaking tank. I got, I got a whole thing coming up for that, but that Captain tank is really good. Uh, I carry. I've been carrying it with me every day for like three days now. I can see the appeal. Pop it in, set it, and forget it, and then just swap it out. But you know, for me, I like building so. Putting something new in isn't a pain in the ass. I mean, I do too. I, I, I like the, the my the icons and my peerlesses and the uh, twenty watts and the uh, preheat. What's going on here? Look out here. Burning. I had the preheat on, but it was at twenty watts. Holy shit! Yeah. So what does that do? Preheat for the first couple seconds will bring it up to wherever you want it, or bring it down to wherever you want it, and then it'll come back down to the watch that you have it set at. It's yeah, really basically to kind of help get past the ramp up time for yeah. some coils. You know, yeah. get that massive heat initially, and then it'll lower down. And, and and a lot of times that preheats enough to where you can lower your wattage from what you normally vape at, mm -hmm. to where if that preheat will make it hot enough, it'll extend your battery life too. Yeah. So it's just play with something like that. But wow, I, I just I like that hmm. idea. That sounds kind of cool if it works well. See, predator I mean, works well, and the chaos works well, especially with these guys. Like when I had my original 200 the first update was awesome the next two or three updates did shit like the step up would actually try to they said it would extend your battery life by at least a half but what it actually did was it cut it in half really yeah yeah and that's why i always try to keep it on the same platform it just comes with if it's already updated i downgrade it really yeah that's kind of like my iPhone. When it upgrades, I just... I feel like my camera's going to be on and they're recording my voice or something. I don't trust uh. those fuckers. <laughs> they're listening to us through our mods now. <laughs> hey, yeah. it's technology, man. You just don't know. Scary shit. So, fuck my ass. I think I have to unfucking do this. What, the software update? Yes. Can you do it through your phone? 
No. I'm just going to make sure my batteries are charged up evenly all the way. Do you want to do it with my computer? Yeah, I just don't know if you actually can through your, what you have going on over there. What's the brand of that, uh, those coils that you're using? They're from the company. Yeah, they're Aspire they're coils. Aspire coils. Oh, it's, it's all Aspire. Okay, yeah. shit. That's just weird, man. I mean, Real it weird. happens. Every coil isn't made like the first one, so... That's true. I mean, Smock has that issue constantly. We're always having their coils fucked up, hot spotting. So... You know what? People have said they've had bad experience with smoke coils, and and all, I got I, I got all the babies. Really? All the, I got I all the TFE Damn those guy, dude! I can't. TFE twelve. I've never had a problem so with popular, smoke coils too. at all. I know, but like if, after I worked at a shop for so long, the first you see it, yeah. month that they came out with the the TFE eight, we had so many fucking coils come back. It was insane. So many tanks come back. That's surprising to hear because they're so popular. Yeah, but see, they push shit out like crazy. Right, yeah. Month after month, yeah. it's like something new. Yeah. I mean, I'm, finally I'm, now they're I'm starting to actually, good like, batches. <laughs> quality out, control yeah. a little bit. Yeah. They're getting better at it. See, that's the thing. These companies in China, you buy this stuff, these pre made coils, and they're just pumping them out as fast as they can. No yeah. quality control, no care. Yeah, if you get, any, if you get anything, that's why I don't ever buy anything new iPhone sevens or anything, yeah, anything new. I wait till about three or four months to get the second batch or third batch because every batch is going to be improved. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's I don't a good buy point. first batch nothing. <coughs> That's good. <clears throat> but you was talking about flavors a minute ago when you when you started to ask him to come in. Is uh, you know, Bull City. Bull City is a great place. I mean, they buy you know, these companies, these carriers you get your flavors from. They buy directly from manufacturers and they get them like big ass storage containers they break them down and sizes however they offer them mm -hmm. but bull city is one of the better ones yep. uh they i mean great service and fast That's service like you order on monday you'll have your shit by wednesday yeah. or thursday um yeah, you know and and i use also use nicotine river and uh sometimes i use I'm e get back into nicotine it. river yeah, and bull yeah. city flavors are the two that i use most Just for personal i want to make mr salty you can buy nick you salt buy the yeah. salt yeah uh yeah, so, I do. I got some Nick salts, yeah, and I got no a, I got some recipes. Wait, yeah, I got a test batch um, of uh, of a recipe that I know one of my recipes. You go to fluff, and I know what it tastes like, which is why I'm using that one as opposed to something that I don't I don't, I don't know. So it's steeping right now. I got one with uh, Nick sauce, one with uh, regular nicotine, mixed it up a little differently on the higher VG, so I can put them in the mouth and lungs, and I'm gonna test them and the effects. Go. There's a lot of testing I got to do with uh, the oh, next sauce, so I can see what the the, the, the shiznit's all about before I can, you it's know, awesome, man. figure out a right recipe for it. That right? first hit in the morning with that my jet's like, ah, uh, 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 <laughs> fucking toes going on. I got something like, going on with my my jet. I don't know like, what it is. He, it's the first he's, dish running, I love. he's running regular juice through it at six milligrams. He's, you got to get a salt derived, like either fill my pod or Mr. Salty. Or I'm go a high you. milligram, like 24, no, 36. I'm not going to buy Mr. Salty. I'm going to make my own damn salty. <laughs> I told him he, he's planning on getting in the juice game. Okay. So I told there's only salty and fill my pods. If he can nail down a couple, a couple flavors. Companies. Oh, are there? Yeah, now they're getting big. See? Well, that's yeah, what my goal is. Now. That's what my goal is. These testings, but the thing, I have something going on with my pump there right now, or my, my, my jet. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's not sucking up the damn juice. I'm just getting burnt cotton. Are so, you are you wicking oh, it way too tight? Well, I, I didn't think I was, because, I mean, it's going through there barely even, you know, not even, with barely any restrictions. That, see, so, that, that seems to be an issue with a couple of my jets. Like, they're all different. Um, the one I had before this, I can barely wick it. And it'd be fine, but my new one, I have to wick it so fucking tight, otherwise it's gonna leak. How old is yeah, it? So Did you just get it? Uh, yeah, I just got it like this week. I was because uh, on Kenny's recommendation, but I also got the Joytech Ego all in one, which is it's okay too. But I think what I'm gonna do is those damn pods, those little pod packs, are so like five for five yeah. bucks, a whole pack of them is cheaper. So I'm gonna buy like probably ten of them. Yeah. That way I'll have enough of them so I can just put different juices in and yeah. test the results of them. Try it out, man. That's awesome that you're um, on it, though. That's I great. mean, I did enjoy, I noticed that uh, by using it, I was surprised that the delivery of the nicotine I was getting, the effect of the nicotine that I was getting, just off a of regular nick yeah. versus, you know, the RDA, yeah. which which surprised the shit out of me. But so what I'm kind of thinking is, um, I don't know what I'm thinking. I just lost train of thought because I just saw a badass chick walk across the parking lot. <laughs> I was going to ask, are you in your car? 
Yeah, I'm in my car. Yeah, I'm yeah. in. I'm working. <laughs> That's awesome. I pulled over just because I, I heard I saw the live stream. Let me hop in here for a minute. No shit. And, uh, Where are you headed next to? Next thing you know, I am. <laughs> but if anybody's trying to say anything to me in chat, sorry, I, I can't do chat and be on the phone at the same time. So I, I'm just not seeing it. I'm not ignoring you. I just don't see it. So hello, everybody in the chat. <laughs> cool. But uh, yeah, I got the yeah the, the um, my goal is because I am working on a juice line and uh, I want to try to break into the salty part of it. You know, do tests of different liquids, like, nicotine okay. and and uh, with the salts versus the regular. And I'm going to do comparisons. So every time I make a juice, I've got to make double one with regular nicotine and one with the salties, and then compare them that way. So it's a process. It'll be a little while. Yeah, take your time, man. Don't don't rush anything. Just make sure you do it. Right now, there is no, there is no, you, like you can try to like, try just Google or YouTube and nicotine salts. You'll get one video up besides every other Mr. Salty video on the planet. Mm -hmm. You will get one video of someone trying to explain it to you, but all they're doing is reading the page, not being able to explain anything. Yeah. Or what the difference. Uh, there's nothing on YouTube about it at all. So. Yeah, no one ever goes into depth uh, as to why or how, what it is. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on trying to figure out. Yeah. It'll be, it's fun. I love this shit. I love DIY, man. DIY is awesome. It was fun. I mean, we tried it for a couple months, and we just got <laughs> bored of it quick. Well, I mean, hell, you you're, you went to the other realm of DIY. Look at look what y'all's life is right now. Fucking yeah. Coils. This guy over here. Well, we didn't hit a lot of great flavors either. <sighs> we didn't. I, got I mean, we that. just did, like, the basic, like, try to do some strawberry custards. Fruits. Some custard dessert flavor. <laughs> well, here's the thing with custards. Custards take at least at least a month yep. to come together. And if you're not patient to wait that month, we you're gonna be you're gonna be like, it's a fail. I'm we gonna throw it away. You know what I mean? You gotta just leave it in the, you gotta put it in a box and forget about it. Have you tried squonking yet? Squonking? Yeah. Um I've never had an actual device that I was so into that I wanted to squonk. Like I'm sure there's a couple cool ones out there that I wouldn't mind actually using, but I just don't have a desire to do it. Right. I'd probably get into it soon enough. I think when the price comes down on them, because they're really expensive. Yeah. Squonk mods. I mean, you can get a cheap RDA with a squonk pen, but. There's a guy out of uh, Chicago who makes a $40 squonk box. It's got one single 18650. Oh, that's cool. 40 bucks, dude. Not bad. That I would do. That's all I need for a good squonk. I got one. Should be here Friday. Uh, what well, you got? What well, from Fast Tech? Yeah, I'm getting the boxer, the boxer clone. You should try the cherry bomber clone. Cherry bomber. Don't <laughs> fucking do it, dude. No, I'm just kidding. There's people like blowing themselves up with that thing. Well, I even, I even saw your simple on there, and I realized I heard you. I remember you saying something about the SMPL yeah. thing. Like, right, that's not a good one. I ain't gonna bother <laughs> with that one. But I got the triple X twenty seven hundred clone. The Triple X 2700, I got the uh, I got the stacked BCM, and I got the um, Boxer, should be here Friday. He's sponsored by Fast Tech, he does a clone show. Every Friday he evaluates the clones to see what no they're like. Shit. Yeah, cool, right? Nobody yeah, else awesome, does that. Dude. My, next, uh, <laughs> my next batch will have the reload in there, I don't know what else I'm going to grab. I guess to whoever, just whatever this by comments suggest that I'll grab Fast something. Tech, huh? When they were first like in talks about it, they were upset because he was calling it the clone show and they wanted it to call him the style show and he was like fuck no i'm calling it the clone show <laughs> i mean it, that's, it, way, it's that's bad, pretty like, much the way it went yeah <laughs> that's fucking funny though. i held my ground <laughs> yeah. that's hysterical so, the clone show it is what it is man and they so. still sponsor you to this day yeah it's just a, it's a new it's like been about a month now so they took the sponsorship on so this is my second batch from them. Then I'll have another month worth of product, and then I'll hit them back up here in another week and see what they give me next. That's pretty, fucking pretty great. Cool thing. Yeah, you've had some good ones too, right, Country? Yeah, the the first one, the what? It's just too girly for me. It was okay. I just didn't like the airflow. That's uh, it's uh, one of the avid life things. Uh, hell, what else have I gotten? Another AV uh, Able Two last week was real, really good. That's a really good model. I still love it. Some bitch. It's, it's it's on my table at the house. 
The uh, AV the, oh, the broad are side. Like the broad side is dude. one to one. Yeah. I swear to God, the broad side is one to one. The broad side clone parts fit on the fucking authentic parts. No shit. They, they interchange. Broad side's broad side's probably the best clone I think out there right now. <laughs> broad side clone from Vastek, nineteen dollars. You're getting you're getting legit. It's it's just. I heard it the clones are, people like, have the clones of the new mods are like people, fucking right. People on, have uh, their own little the opinions about from clones, the right but. The clones are made from a shittier piece of metal, so something's happening there. I had a guy come in the shop today, actually. He has a uh, clone rogue, and he went to, like, screw it into the, the, the hybrid top, and it just literally spun, and he fucking... Popped it right off? Yeah, dude. Killed the threads. Yeah, well, oh, the quality yeah. is nowhere yeah. near what the authentic's no. going to be. Um, people that's what people clones, understand. Know that right off the bat. Right. Um, the quality is not going to be nowhere near the authentic no. at all. Like but, as opposed uh, like, to like for the side, for example, it's, like it's paint, kind not of exactly. The paint's coming off already, but so uh, fucking soft. It's it works well, performs well. That's crazy. Huh? I can't see chat. What's chat doing? Anything? Let's see. Probably talking. They're probably praising you. Oh, have you told them about your freaking special yet, man? The competition coils. Oh, I haven't even mentioned it. Dude, I, you need to. So, Big Country ordered a <clears throat> custom coil. He wanted a pair of aliens that were like really low in competition grade, and so I made him a pair of um, Nichrome ninety uh, alien Claptons, and those things are vicious. And so after he encouraged me for about a week and a half, I did a limited run. I only made five pairs of the Nichrome uh, 90 aliens. And they're up on the site right now. And once they're gone, they're gone. That's it. I'm not going to make any more of them. But they are on sale on the website. And you can use the discount code for those as well. But So they're up there. There's five. When they sell out, that's it. You know, amazing, I mean, right? If you, if you look on my Instagram, I got a little right. video there showing the ramp up top. Instant ramp. Instant ramp. Fucking vicious. Hitting like a fucking monster, I'm telling you. Massive clouds. <laughs> and the flavor with the alien ramp. That's fucking great. If you don't fucking take advantage of that shit, mm -hmm. I want to buy it all myself. Probably. Eventually. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but they're great. They're great coins. I love that damn thing. And I'm using that Saturday this weekend when I go to my cloud comp. I'm going to win because of Sherlock. Also, we're thinking about doing the trip to, uh, where are we going? Charlotte, baby. Charlotte, Vape Slam, 2017. <laughs> yeah! He wants you to come. You want to come to yeah, you got to come too, man. You got to roll with your buddy. Vapor Slam. Oh, Vapor Slam. What's, uh, what's the date? It's not... September 22nd to the 24th. <laughs> It's far enough away. It's a weekend, right? Yeah. All right, fuck yeah. yeah. Tickets are pretty cheap. It starts, like starts Friday down. the 22nd. We'll, we'll, we'll leave, come back Sunday. Charlotte, where the fuck are you going to fly down? We could drive, bitch. It's, it's like, like 12, 12 hours. hours. All right, if you're driving. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. Can you commit, though? Yes. Commit? Yeah, as long as it's a weekend, I'm down. All right, we're coming. Oh, yeah, yeah. As as leave I'll figure we'll meet down there Thursday evening, get up Friday and go, and spend the weekend. We'll leave, come back Sunday. I mean, I live in Charlotte. It's like... 605 miles for y'all to drive. As it's long like as you get some, some miles for me to drive. So. Yeah, some coke and some crack. We'll be good the just whole crack. way. <laughs> just crack. Just, that's just crack. Need. Sorry, just crack. <laughs> By that time, we'll have our... Well, uh, ooh, where's a nice juice idea? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be flying down. <laughs> flying. No, we don't, man, we'll go. I, I, uh, I was paying attention to a couple of the vapor slams, and they, uh, they hit it off pretty good, so... I'm excited about the Charlotte one. That's gonna be yeah. Fun. They haven't got released de uh, uh, event details yet, like what the VIP packs going to cost and ticket prices and all that shit. But yeah. it's thirty. It's still three months out. These I didn't get that information until like six weeks ahead of Columbus. So let's just hope TVL figured, isn't going. Why? Yeah, we'll start hearing more about it. Why? I don't know. Because uh, the Vapor Slam up in New York this past year, uh, they caused a little bit of an issue. They started giving away free shit. A lot of people went crazy. Because they were giving away? Yeah, and they, like, trampled a couple. People were fucking pissed off, throwing fights. It was crazy. What? Yeah, all over TV, all just trying to give away some, Only some, some shit. They was giving away free shit. This clown was fine. Nobody got no fight over it. <laughs> I heard differently. Wow. Yep. 
Wow. They were up on stage at the crowd comp just throwing shit exactly. out the crowd. Whoever caught it, caught it. He was there. Yeah, so it was Dom, Will, and AJ. Wow. With TVL and Duvo. Are they, like, partnered? They were right next to each other. Gotcha. Yeah. So who was pissed? Um, other- I guess there was a another vendor right next to TVL, and when they mentioned about the free shit, Everyone scampered over uh, and left and their like booth. left yeah <laughs> yeah and they got pissed off and said something to the owners of the vapor slam whatever and just caused a whole bunch of shit. That seems like a ridiculous thing to get upset about. Yeah, I know, but like I don't know, it's your business. You're gonna emotions are gonna flare. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, just get move the fuck on. Yeah, like, come on. Yeah. Giveaways happen all the time. Yeah, that's what the whole fucking thing is. Yeah. Like, you have all these people that are diehard fans of TVL, of, you know, Duvo, and whoever else was there. I'm sure there's people that love their stuff. Yeah. But. I see Duvo all over Instagram. Yeah, Duvo, Duvo's huge. TVL's biggest, too. They were, like, wildly, like, last year, year and a half ago in this area, there was, like, Duvo? huge. Yeah. No, well, them, too, but uh, TVL. TVL. Everybody had the fucking. But see, that's what TV happens out. in the area. They blow up for so long, and then it just dives down. Another trend kicks up. Yeah, dives down. And then AV went really crazy, and Scoundrel went crazy for a minute. That's what I mean. It all depends on who's pumping out the most coolest shit. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys sell the most of, hardware wise? Uh. God, it's gonna have to be. Tanks and starter kits. That's pretty much like the. But people nowadays, like for the past three months, it's been pens. People that are actually wanting to stop smoking, we've had a lot, a huge influx of people that just want a pen. They don't want to fuck around with coils. They mm-hmm. don't want to fuck around with crazy th- craziness. They just want something simple. Yeah, here's a question for you. You uh, you manage a vape shop, right? Yeah. So when someone walks in, as is judging from my personal experience, yeah. when someone walks into you, who's a smoker, walks in and says, educate me. What is vaping about? What would you suggest to be the, the best way to get off these damn cigarettes? What do you tell them? How do you answer that? Well, I try not to confuse them and throw so much information at them that they just get shit scared and back away. I think that's like the, the worst one, thing yeah. to do. Yeah. So basically, I just tell them like what the juice is made out of. Um, I try to tell them don't pay attention to anything that's on the internet. Uh, they ask me about battery safety. You know, do they explode? I tell them the do's and don'ts of battery safety. Um, and really, if you're running like a starter kit, you're not gonna have to worry about batteries. It's either internal or it's internal. I mean, a pen is <laughs> internal. Fucking some of the smaller boxes are internal. Um, Pod systems are I just let them go from there. I, I let them choose where they want to be, what they want. I hook them up with a flavor that's relatively in their area of, of palatable flavors. And then so that's I, the I give them a couple weeks with that. They come back in. They're like, all right, I want something different. <laughs> I, I let them escalate how far they want to go into it. Yeah, because that's that, that's the, that's the thing with me. When I when I made the decision or started thinking about vaping, I wanted to, I was just ready to quit smoking. I mean, even though I've heard it for years and I've even said for years, I need to quit. I need to quit. And quit. You know, you say that all the damn time. Yeah. But I was in the mindset, I'm ready to just quit. And I tried the patches and I tried the little fucking B six off Go Mart shelves, you know, little Mark tens from Marlboro and all that crap. Mm-hmm. None of that stuff worked for me. I walked into my first vape up. I said exactly that. I said, educate me. Mm-hmm. The dude started just trying to. Say, Telling me this, I, I don't even remember what it was, but he started mentioning things like tanks, batteries, mods, primes, and cotton, and coils, and I'm like, what the fuck, you know? I walked out quick. That's the worst thing you do, man. <laughs> I had no clue. You just don't know this lingo. Yeah. And I went to the second one. They found, actually like they had no time for me, so I walked out my third one, man. My my current, the fuck? Um, you trying to call me again, or what? I'm sorry. Um, my iPad's going crazy. <laughs> I was getting a call from you on Zoom on my iPad. But yeah, I went to my third one. Now my current vape shop, when I do go to, um, when I go to a vape shop. Holy crap. Who's that guy? What's up, Fitness? What's up, Isaac? 
Zazaya. When I do go to a vote shop, I uh, I, 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 I went and talked to them, and they talked to me for like an hour. Yeah. And they talked. I walked out with the AL85. After about an hour of talking, they took their time, and I walked out with a Mountain Dew flavored juice. I forget the name of uh, the juice. Uh, I wish I still knew it, but I, I'm currently in the process of trying to make me one. Yeah. But I wanted to leave with some kind of familiar flavor. Yeah. That uh, not being tobacco, but you know, it was the patience that this guy showed me and yep. sat down and talked to me while he was just sitting there rebuilding whatever he was building his box mouth at the time. I, don't remember, I just remember seeing a big old brick. He's putting cotton in. I had no clue what it was. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean that's good. The way you're doing, you seem like you're patient and you're just kind of educating what you can and let them make their decision of where they want to yeah. go. Yeah, so. I, I, I think that's like the most worst thing to do is to try to push <clears throat> a sales pitch onto someone who has no fucking idea. Yeah. As to what they're doing. When you start hearing words like that, you just, yeah. you're, you're, you're overwhelmed for one yeah. when you walk into the vape shop and you get hit by that cloud of vape. And that's why I want to change. Like, like, there's damn. a few shops in our area that are completely, you know, they only cater to, Sales. yeah, they only cater to like the hardcore side or they don't want to deal with the newbie. So, yeah, I just want to be a, that. That's why yeah. A couple shops around here are like that. They just want to sell the high dollar ticket. They don't care if you are a new, uh, someone trying to quit smoking, or if you're a, a, a veteran smoker. They just or a veteran uh, vapor. Yeah. They just want to get the high dollar gadget out to you and try to make their money, but not help for longevity. To keep them on mm-hmm. cigarette. You know, that's the thing right there. Educating people and helping each other to stay off tobacco and shit. Yep. Yeah. And the then- first vape shop I ever went into was not a great experience. I got a shitty Camry mod and it. Okay. It was just, yeah. And they, like, I took it into another vape shop. Like, I don't even know what this is. Was it the three battery one? No, it, it, I, I've been vaping for like three years. It was just the eighteen six fifty tube okay. ego battery. Um, I can't remember the name of it right now, but yeah. <laughs> it was like it worked for about two months and then it just stopped. Tank wouldn't work. It just I, I replaced like I replaced the coil and it just wouldn't fire. Yeah. I mean, just from working at the shop for so long, you know what company provides the best quality <laughs> products, and you want to carry those products. Yeah. Aspire makes one hell of a starter kit. Um, Smock is iffy. Kanger's okay. Um, Joytech makes an awesome one. We just got the uh, auto packs in, the Penguins, and they are oh, fucking cool, that. man. Yeah, yeah, I've actually just started getting a mouth to lung. I have this little, uh, this little eye care right here. This is the only thing I got. And I'm actually going to pick up a, um, the one that Sherlock has, the MyJet, because yeah. I'm liking mouth to lung so much. And I'm actually going to make Sherlock up some juice to send to him for those MyJets. And it's just like, I love this thing. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I don't want to break this fucking thing. That's all right. <laughs> it's already broken. Yeah, they so break good. so easy. Oh, yeah, go ahead. You can keep playing with sure. it. Yeah. I don't want to fuck it up on you. <laughs> that's the one I use for pictures and stuff, so that's mine. Okay. Cool. Larry, did you, cool. Catch awesome. the, did you catch the beginning where I was showing what I'm putting up on the website soon? Uh, No, I didn't get it. So if you're talking to me? Yeah, you. You're the guy named Larry. Uh, no, I, I got here while you was in the middle of doing clapping. Oh, okay. Holy shit. You. This is all going on the website. What we got here? So this little green guy up here in the front, it's uh, all the little sized hex torque heads. So you don't have to find your little Allen key. They're all set in one little, uh, like, um... Uh, what is it? The fucking it's Swiss, Swiss did, Allen? Did they go down to three point five millimeter? Yeah, it's tiny, 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 okay. tiny. So, so you got an Allen, you got an Allen set there. Nice. An, an Allen set, an Allen set. Yep. I have my clamps. They're already on the website. Then I have all the different pliers that I use. The actual bit, like the to wrap the coils. Yeah. And then I have the flush cuts that I use. They'll be going up. And uh, cotton shears, like really high quality um, yeah. fabric shears with a lifetime warranty, so you can get them replaced if they ever um, get dull. Nice. So that's what's going on. I did the product well, shots. I, th- I think I think that's a great idea because when people are getting into coal building or 
pool building. You start watching a gazillion freaking videos, trying to write down every tool that people are using so they can make sure that they are prepared to get into that new venture. And if they have a place like your website that has all the tools that you personally use, right there, one stop <laughs> shop, man. Right. One stop shop. Just buy your wire. You get the tools from Sherlock. And like we were talking about last night, um, your. Uh, like with the fidget spinners, how low the price is on those? I'm not doing yeah. much of a markup on the tools either. Yeah, that, that's. I mean, that's that's great. I mean, hell, boy, that, when you're trying to help people, you're not trying to rob them. That's all it is. Yeah. You know? That's that's great, man. Great mentality. That's awesome. Yeah, for somebody that's never done coil building like me, that's an awesome thing to have because you don't have to run around for everything. Yeah. Just get it all in one spot. And it'll be like relatively the same price, but. Um, Another thing I'd like to do is put like a kit together, like uh, start putting little sets, you know, so you don't, I mean, you could buy them individually, but like put the set together for a little bit cheaper. The one guy has a really good question. Are they Torx or hex heads? Because they are different heads. That's a good question. Uh, those are Torx. Star key. Is Star what it key, says. Torx. Yeah. But they work in all of my devices. I tried them. They work in everything I have, from the Petri to the um, to the Twisted Messes. They work in everything. And everybody's really close to the convention. <laughs> That's actually kind of crazy. I'm reading chat right now, and Thad's like an hour away. Yes, I tell you, man, we're, we're, we're Isaiah's going to go too. Isaiah's yeah. going too. Yeah, I'll be there too. So. Yeah, we're all going. That's four of us. I'll, I'll, I'll reserve the room here in the next couple weeks. I'll reserve two rooms. One for y'all, one for us. and uh, I'll make sure y'all get a single bed. Yeah, make sure you get a single bed. <laughs> let's try to get a suite. Time. If there's going to be four of us, let's try to get a suite. Yeah. All right, I'll look, I'll, look into the, I'll look into all that stuff. I'm going to sleep on the fucking was gonna, floor. Because that, that Hilton I first sent you, and that, I texted you that that Hilton might be the place to go. Yeah, I didn't we'll even look, 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 look at that yet. About it. Oh, wish my fucking phone would turn on. Did you plug it in? Yeah. yeah. Dude, you can't be sleepy. It's only like 11.30. I'm fucking like tired, man. Dude. Not I'm everyone's so... a night owl like you, Larry. Listen, dog, that's my life, okay? Just because I work all night. For Larry, equivalent, it's like 9 a.m. for Larry. We're all like... Right. Dragging ass. Dra yeah. <laughs> That's just, you know, when I work, when you work on night, even when your day's off, you're stuck on that damn schedule. That's my life. A nocturnal creature. <laughs> and when I walked into Columbus, man, I was in there like five minutes, and I, oh, dude, Beard and Vapes off Instagram, he walked up to me, like, I was there like less than five minutes, and just someone coming up like that, it's pretty like, yeah, well, well, it's pretty cool, man, you know? So, Charlotte. Yeah. Sherlock's gonna have about five thousand people waiting on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> so much for uh, so much for the coil spinning, damn it. Yeah, where that. You, you, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he went. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That didn't. That didn't happen. <laughs> but I'm telling you, though. I'm telling you, you need to do it. Do it. People. People just. It's cool just to watch. So it's relaxing. Well, you know music you had in the background too. It sounded pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be sitting here, uh, sitting here building, so I might as well go live. If anybody wants to watch, they can, you know. Yeah, yeah. And every now and again, when you take a break, you can interact for a minute and then go back to work. You know. Yeah. I think it's a great. Idea. And Mr. Miles, yeah, country, country works the corner, so he <laughs> works, he works the they, night shifts. They call him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting now. I'm sitting in the corner of the Taco Bell parking lot right now. <laughs> that's where. That's why he's big, sexy. Don't believe me? I'll tell you, buddy. Hey, look, look, right there's the Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm on their Wi-Fi. I'm talking to you. So I ain't gotta use my dad. <laughs> and random statement of the night goes to Thad Pierce. I think my car needs new spark plugs. Thank you for sharing, Thad. Wow. <laughs> Better get those spark plugs, buddy. <laughs> Oh, fad. I guess me being in the car made him think of that. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a drink. Oh, shit. Look at that. 
actually turned on. So I'm, I'm going to uh, contact our uh, congressman and see if they'll do an interview with me about vaping, their stance on vaping. And let me film our congressman? I want to do like Pat Toomey. Is Barletta still? Uh, no. No? No. Louis Barletta. If I can get a phone call for s filling out a daggone Kasa email from, what's his name? Uh, Rom not Romney, but uh, one of the senators said, yes, I'm all for it. I got your back. <laughs> if I can get a personalized phone call from this guy, you can get an interview. <laughs> I, got f I got faith. You can get an interview with your congressman. Well, I started doing some research into it, and there's like a lot of um, YouTubers who, who or a lot of Congress people that do interviews with YouTubers. And uh, so I can sell myself as a legitimate news, like, you know, reporter, so... We'll see. Well, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I don't see why they, anybody would... I mean, I'm sure they could take 10 minutes for a, a Zoom call. Right. Or, I'd even yeah. go down to Harrisburg. I don't care. Oh, let's build with that. I just want to fuck with You this, know what I did uh, last night? What? I made a 26-gauge Clapton with 36-gauge. Mm -hmm. Then I wrapped it with 38-gauge. Then I wrapped it with 40-gauge. Then I wrapped it with 46-gauge. Where is it? I threw it away. <laughs> it ramped up too slow because the mass was so large. He was extremely bored. <laughs> no, I wasn't bored. I was just bored with making clapped it. Well, you know what happened? I, I was trying to watch my show because it was a really good scene. And so I kept backing up on itself. You know, it kept like re-wrapping backwards. So I was like, right. I've never built... Because I was talking to you about it the other night too. I think. Wasn't that you? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so it kept happening. I was like, you know what? I need a break. I'm going to fucking do it. And I needed new coils in this. But it didn't work that well because, A, I used 26 gauge. That was a lot of mass. And it just ramped up so slow. So mm -hmm. didn't work out too great. Let's build. So what are you says, building? congrats to country on 500 deal. subs and gent to 100 subs. That's awesome, man. man. That's huge. Appreciate you hit 200 already? Yeah. Uh, Woo! Well, no, he, he, where's he at? What'd you say? He's at 200. Yeah, he got his custom URL a couple days ago. No, yeah. 100. I, I'm, about, I'm, at, I'm at like 162 or something like that right now. Damn, so I'm close boy. to 200. Yeah. You got to start off somewhere, right? What are you building with? The 25? I'm he, he's moving, man. Parallel. He's climbing. And you mm -hmm. want to parallel him? Yeah, I want to parallel him. I'll do it tomorrow, but I want to focus on the 25 okay. gauge. This is. Oh, that's the the Nichrome 90. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like the fucking holy grail. I, I'm already wire. convinced. I'm in love with the Nichrome 90 now. I think it's probably going to be the way of the future. From like India kind of wholesaler. Mm -hmm. Do you have a vibrate button on that guy? Yeah, I do. Yeah. She's in yeah. Fucking... yeah, let it vibrate. You should um, build only Nichrome 90 coils from now on. I'm only. going to order... <laughs> I'm going to order Nichrome 90. You order it by weight. From uh, from China, I'm gonna test it out. I found it online. Only you should, place. you should do what Anarchist does and actually clean the fucking the nichrome your wire with soap. Really? Yeah. I could do that. I could string it up outside on a tree, it so walk shiny. it up the street, and clean. And use that seven thousand grit, <laughs> ten thousand grit sandpaper, run it all the way down. Oh, I'd love to see that. I don't know how many goddamn wraps. Where's the? Be, let me see the rest of that bag. I'm gonna build a twenty-two gauge Clapton with. Um, 34 gauge? With 34 and 22. You're probably going to need around like 7 or 8 wraps. Do you think so? Away. Yeah. With normal Nichrome 80, it's like 6. Yeah. What's the red one? I forget what the red one is. I don't even know, dude. It doesn't even say a fucking gauge on it. Oh, it's the 18. Look That's at how fucking 18. thick this is. Yeah. I was looking at that. I'm like, what is that? Here's 20. <clears throat> Look at how much thicker it is. And how many wraps? Do you know what that actually ohmed out to when you fucked with it's this? Way too fucking low. Yeah. Five wraps was like, the second I hit it, my finger burnt from so the button. Anytime you have a fat gauge like that, always do it on a 3.5 and space it. Whatever you do, do space six it? wrap space. Spacing helps bring up your ohms. If it's too low, space that shit out and it'll bring it up. But it's not going to, though. What? The only thing that affects ohms as far as like space would be it it, would dude. be length. No. Spacing for some reason it helps doesn't, bring it up. It definitely doesn't. Check it that out. That doesn't alter science. I promise you, do it you doesn't. Have, do you have a any configuration? If it is, 
If it ohms, just for sake of, because I don't know, if it <laughs> ohms 0.5 per inch. Okay. If I, it doesn't matter what configuration I make that inch of wire. It deals with how fucking fast it flows through the coil. So when you're spacing it out, it's heating up even. I'm telling you, it's by length. So if I have six, all right, five inches of Nichrome 90 is, say, 0.2. Okay. All right, so that's what, all right, so five inches. I can do a fucking, um, I can do three wraps on a six millimeter bit. I could do seven wraps on a three or ten on a two. No, it doesn't matter. No, it won't because it's hey, the same hey, way. Hey, let an outsider, let an outsider interject for one second. <laughs> Take eight inches of Nichrome 80, 24 gauge. Wrap one of them seven wraps together. One of them seven wrap space. See what they matter. Yeah. Watch for science. For science, for science purposes. For science. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need a three five. This is why I need my uh, fucking uh, ohm reader. Because I don't even have a fucking box mod down here. It'd be a good challenge. Who's going to win? CK yeah, Clouds or the need, Coil you Master himself. So. Over there, guys. Sherlock. Do I? Where? Yeah. <laughs> Over there, there's a fucking goo. Oh, yeah, no, I don't have a, a box, box to put it on, yeah. You have an, uh, an ohm reader, right? No. What the fuck? <laughs> you build you on a fucking ohm reader? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because it broke a year and a half ago, and I'm waiting on Coilmaster to get back to me. <laughs> All right, this needs to go back. Yeah, he's wrong though. It's it doesn't matter what configuration; the length is what matters. When you start, I've adding heard that too, but I've also heard his argument about it. I mean, I've just I, I've never tested it myself, but I've heard what yeah, you said, and I've heard other people say the same thing he's saying. It's so bullshit. I, this would like, be a good scientific test. It's bullshit. Just like strumming your coils or trimming your cotton. It does nothing. I promise. Oh, resistance is science. I promise. I do this for a living. I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes. <laughs> In this case, it's one of the times though, right? Yeah. Now I'm mixing up this wire, so I have no idea what it is. Wait, what is this one? What is this one? Fuck. Oh, it's the 22. <laughs> He's like, fuck, fuck. Sherlock problems when you got too much wire around. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the biggest problem is you got Mad Rabbit packaging that shit and not telling you what the fuck it is. I know, that's I ridiculous. That. Why would any manufacturer make it a product <clears throat> to put shit in a box to here, figure it out for yourself? Especially in this industry when the safety is key. Yeah, and not put what kind of wire it is. Like, that alone. Because it has the gauge. Some of them have the gauge. This one doesn't have the gauge. This one doesn't have the gauge. Or what type of wire it is. I just got done making a label, and it takes two seconds to add a little box saying, hey, 22 gauge. 22 G. Yep. <laughs> right. Or write it on. Like, be lazy and just write it or on. Hand, yeah, handwrite it. Yeah. It's All crazy. Right. It just makes no sense to me why any company would do that. Do they think they're that badass to where all they need to have is colors and you already know what? No, they're not that popular yet. Maybe eventually. Yeah, no, they're not, though. I don't know. All right, Isaiah, your chat, your chat organizer. What's going on, chat? Anything worth anything worth mentioning? Um, we've got a question for Sherlock. He says, what was the cotton you included with the coils? Um, I have um, organic Japanese, uh, not Japanese, I'm sorry, organic unbleached uh, cotton. And I get it, um, I get it wholesale and trim it by hand. Okay. Um, I used to, so I just changed packaging, so it depends, well the cotton's the same, but it depends on how you get it. It's either rolled if you got um, in a jar, I roll it up. Um, into big sheets and cut them off to fit in the jars but I just switched packaging to um, to these guys I like this new I like these new packaging yeah that's um, nice so what I've been doing is um, I just fold a, a strip I cut a strip and fold it in half and, and put it in here which I think is more manageable because when it when I roll it up and sometimes I've like I had to reopen my my packaging and stuff and change stuff out and I've tried to undo the cotton and it kind of sometimes doesn't come out the best 
and just cutting cutting the rolls like sometimes the rolls come out kind of weird so this is definitely just a better way of doing it for me but so that kind of answers your question but personally when i build i just use um like from the store unbleached um organic cotton balls and they've always served me fine but for the ones i sell i i use um regular cotton I'm Yep, I use I use organic cotton balls too, just from CVS or something, just unbleached. Just yeah, that's what I use. I use. Yeah, I got my own version of that. Yeah, I know. I've I've seen your I've seen you, Kenny. Watch this, guys. A What's robot that, cotton bacon. No, it's not. Can I do one. I refuse to believe it's that simple. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I've tried the Kindo. I've tried no. some Japanese. Oh yeah, no, they had. Well, they had them at the shop. I just prefer I'm this. sure you don't remember, but we went to a cloud comp together. I always carry some. A couple of weeks ago. What I was. Hey man, use what you like. <laughs> Roger. And they had them there. <laughs> yeah. Did we actually see it? I did. I don't know where you were. <laughs> Your head was in the clouds. But... <laughs> All right, we go three point five. DK, you want to do this or what? What? Our non-scientific are scientific test? Yeah, you want to prove that you're right or wrong? Oh, dude, what are you talking about? Someone's not going to read it. Oh, there we go. Your three fives right in front of you. All right, so let's use... Uh, well, let's not use the good wire for this test. Let's just use... Um, yeah, this is cheap shit. Like the, shit the mad like. rabbit holy grail wire. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, though, I think I'm going to order that Nichrome 90 through that company we were talking with and yes. uh, sell my own. But I gotta yes. figure out how to spool it to the correct tension and everything. So I might have to invest a few thousand into like a spooling kind of machine thing. Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, you should just change everything. Get rid of all your nichrome eighty, use nichrome ninety from now. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fucking package it like this nonsense. Like and well, I'm not gonna do, charge you these put prices. A label either. On that son bitch. Huh? Uh, even if you do, just put a label on that son bitch. Well, you know, yeah. it's like so people know what they're getting. I, what I really meant to, was the prices they charge for this stuff is unbelievable. Oh, got, oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. I mean, it is more expensive material, but I mean, twelve dollars for what? Ten feet? What did they want? I think, I think it was twenty. <laughs> twenty well, feet for twelve dollars. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Get, yeah, get in contact with them. But I, I didn't want to download that app. I got too many apps on my phone anyway. I should have to download an app to reply to your message. Yeah, uh, that's that's horseshit. So, so Mr. Miles asks Sherlock Holmes, have you used that square wire yet? You know what, buddy? I haven't. I haven't, Miles. Um, I haven't. Let me let me take square a look. Square wire. What the hell's yeah. that? I was pushing. I was pushing him to try to use it a couple months ago, but I just still haven't gotten around to it. Yeah. I never get to build for myself, which really sucks. Um, so I have a point, point 0.9 by point 0.3, which is a weird gauge to try to work with. But then I have point 0.2 by point 0.5, point 0.5 by point 0.2, um, which is really cool because it's like standard point 0.5, and this is what I'm, I'd like to work with. And it's not very square, but it's definitely thicker than ribbon, but this one's beefy this one's real beefy uh, when I first got it I made coils out of it just like I just wrapped this up and I polished them with um, 10,000 grit sandpaper and they they looked really cool but I haven't touched it since then and this point nine like I don't know what gauge this is equivalent to I'd probably have to run it wait so point three point three is 28 so 28 where does square wire come from um, KB. Where wire, eh? Yeah, it's expensive. Think, it's really. You ever expensive. seen those? You ever seen those? Um, those boat design coils. What? They're like the head of a boat. Ah, shit, like, you know what a head a boat looks like? Quarter inch boat, five side hex, whatever. Like someone will take a coil, they'll wrap it up, and then they'll sandpaper one side flat. Rotate a little bit, sandpaper it flat, and rotate some more, and then you got the head, the coil looks like a freaking boat head or nut head. And uh, I think a flat wire would be cool for one of those. But it's, it's not, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you can even use that as, as it's vape, but you know, coil porn, you know how you coil butters do. It's just, <laughs> a lot of times they make creations just for pictures instead of function. You know, anybody <clears throat> in chat have a recommendation on how I can use the point? 
0.9 by 0.3 wire <coughs> because I, as it stands right if I if I flip it this way <coughs> it's really fat it's 0.9 but horizontally it's um, 0.3 which is the size of 28 so if I was going to stack it actually I could do a staple with it and that would be pretty pretty awesome you're sandbagging. Sandbagging. What's yep. that? You're stalling, bitch. Stalling Let's what? do the scientific <laughs> shit. Oh, okay. What wire are you using? I, I just wrapped those for myself. I'm going to use those tomorrow. Um, all right, here. Let's use... You said you want to use the cheap shit, right? Not cheap shit, but normal shit. Yeah. Right there. Mm. Let's use 20. Yeah. Ow, fuck. fuck Jesus Christ, guy. <laughs> 20 said no, damn it. Not today. I'm telling you, bro. <clears throat> fucking gonna lose. Be prepared to eat my dust. Catalyst is amazing, y'all. Catalyst is awesome. Love Catalyst. All right. <clears throat> Want me to do it? Uh, you can wrap one, and I'll wrap one. All right. Where, uh... Where's, uh... I, I think this my here. ruler fell. Where's my ruler? I saw one. But oh, see, yeah. now the leads need to be the exact same size. Yeah. You, oh, you said any length, so just cut it to length. Let's do. Uh, We're gonna do a single do a coil. Six wrap. So measure that shit out. It's gonna be like four. No, or we're gonna five do inches. it by length. So here's five inch. Make whatever coil you want. Well, actually, you only need about four. All right. So yeah. here's four and a half inches. I say you just make both wires the same and. Wrap both same coil, same same amount of wraps. One of them spaced, one of them not. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make a completely different coil and show you. What? All right, so I'll make the same thing. All right, just to show you the spacing thing. But so I can make any configuration out of this. Out of this wire, you could be doing on a three millimeter or a three five, and I'll do it on a three, and it'll be the exact same. I'm gonna do it on this fucking <clears> three. <throat> Are you? I'm gonna space it, yeah. Spaced on a three? Yeah. Do you have a three? That's a three, three five. five. And you got a damn tree. So what we're testing here, guys, is the theory or the or is what we're trying to prove You're is doing that a the space. length of the wire is all that determines uh, resistance as opposed to configurations. So Do as many wraps as you can. As many as I can. Yeah. Well, with leads, of course. Well, how many wraps are you going to do? Six. I should do five. Do five? Five is going to be point away. One, two, three, four. And you're going you're to do a spaced wrap, right, CK? Yep. I'll be honest. I have watched a few people, few people do space draft, and I and I wondered how the hell they got such a high ohm. And I was like, I just kind of never tested it myself. The thing that we used to do in cloud comps Make was sure it's uh, tight against that bit. Yeah, when I would actually it tight. try to get something that would ohm lower closed up Let's to see. a high ohm higher, I just do a space, then it would bring the ohms up from like a point oh eight to a point one. I like that point of seven hit, man. That's what I like. Nice and low. It's the best kind. Got to get me some more of Big Country's Jagoda Fluff. Get the mix on, ho. See this? I got to get more of it in a bottle, man. I'm almost out. This was a, this was a sixty. <laughs> we have to see if you if you don't mix it so now, you have to wait same. for it to freaking steep. You ought to be mixed to have some mixed before you run out. <clears throat> Damn it! Well, you know what we should have done is wrapped it both like <laughs> this and then <laughs> well, spaced it that'll after. That'll be fixed here yeah. soon because you could have used yeah. more wire. Sure. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. That's why you should wrap it tight. Plant it, but no bottles. Put them in. 
That was my first time actually making it space like that. It's gotta be fun, man. I want to see the results. It's gotta be fun. Mm hmm. Working with anything. that 18 gauge. Dude, I can only fucking imagine. Mm -hmm. It was fucking vicious. What's chat doing? Anything going on? Oh, uh, they're just chatting about the different oh. different vendors for wire, like eBay and all of the KB's links. They're just kind of chatting about oh. that. I tell you what, KB right now they got some. They got some nice little deal. At least they have week four right? hours That's and stuff. Yeah. They got packs. And take or uh, they call them bundles. This. And I, I felt like I was getting pretty good deals, one. so I bought like a bundle there. of Canthal, like bundle of stainless steel, and a bundle of micro make off them. After you install it or before? I got yeah, like 1300 foot wires in the house right now. Okay, perfect. Good, because I want to cut the leads the exact same. And I haven't really built anything yet. I'm going to, well, before I get my first true build nope. attempt, we got a couple <laughs> things I got to get in here and get set up. I'm going to do it live. I'm going to do my first official attempt live of trying mm. to make something. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> you just can't wait to see me fail or try oh, to work. You know it. I can't wait to see you succeed. Yeah, my home. Get them fuse claptons out. Big country oh, coils. Oh, yeah, watch your eyes. Jesus Christ. He's trying to kill me over here, Ben. <laughs> Do you want the bend in them? Bend? Fuck no. They don't bend my shit. Well, here you go. That way, if they do wind up homing out the same, you can do them up and have one side space, one side kidney style. That is true. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I've never actually done this test before. All right, so I need the three O of this. Oh one. yeah, five wraps. Three O. Yeah. Three O. Usually, uh, diameter, right? usually five spaced ohms out to a point oh eight. Six will ohm out to a point one. Usually. All right. He's using a flathead right now to space them out. <laughs> this might take a couple minutes. I might see the results myself. Mm-hmm. I want to know too. See, you got two line? noobs in here. Yeah. Don't know shit about spinning wire. <laughs> you like? Do you want to know? Yeah, well, first, find out the answer. Point, oh, well, we can make some round wire well, builds, so like you know, but uh, <laughs> anything above that, we're just a little, uh, a little far from. Yeah, anybody can round a freaking wire around a bit. <laughs> I actually tried uh, just just for shits and giggles because I was in the chat earlier when Sherlock started, and I was like, I asked a question: What would happen if uh, you wrap twenty four with twenty four, like you know, like twenty four core and twenty four <laughs> uh, outer? Just out of curiosity. And I did that, and holy shit, this thing is fucking huge. I mean, the rat came out awful, but what I succeeded with this, <laughs> fucking huge. Holy, holy shit, shit. it's fucking huge. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> no, dude, you should have seen the first coil the night I that I came over here that. and <laughs> showed him how to make coils. You should have seen the fucking Frankenstein coil we made. That was a couple days later. Will wanted to uh, build in his yeah. temple. Yeah, that's what you're going to give him. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, why isn't it going up? <laughs> we, keep adding, yeah, we keep adding wire and it won't go up. That's when I didn't know what <laughs> resistance was. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Let's add another one. Come on, man. It's got to go up so boy. Yeah. Oh, God. I think you still have that in the fucking... It's, uh, in, the, it's in the monster box. Yeah. yeah, in the graveyard. All right, where's my coil? Here we are. Here we go. Okay. Do you have both? Oh, yeah, you have both bats, right? Yeah, so here. That's spaced. Okay. Got me sweating over here. I know, it's, it's fucking warm. Woo! Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! <laughs> You're in your air-conditioned car. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to install it so the, the leads aren't sticking out at all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we can hopefully get um, as even as possible. Oh, um, is it going to fire that point 0.8? It only fires down to 0.1 though. 
Uh, I guess we can cut it in half. Issues. Yeah, yeah right. we could do two yeah. single coils. We're going to have to anyway to yeah. uh, determine. Yeah. If we did the same on the other side, it would be whatever. So you guys know we got four minutes and thirty seconds on the call. Does it matter? Oh, yeah, that's the zoom, them rat bastards. Yeah. Does it, it to us pretty sim? Um, zoom. You only get forty-five minutes if you have more than two people on the call. Oh shit! Unless you pay fifteen bucks a month. Then yeah, then it's uh. Then you can do the free thing again. That's tight, right? I keep pulling out the wrong ones. Yeah, I just want it as tight as possible so there's like no discrepancies, you know? Mm -hmm. This will be the first time I've done this. What, a non scientific scientific test? Yeah. First time in a while. <sighs> Fuck. Alright, boy. Make sure it's 0.16. Bring it up to 80. And then you're gonna have to squeeze it. With mine, you shouldn't have to do that, though. You kind of can't, though, right? Isn't that the. You don't have to. That's gonna fire even no matter what. As far as working out hot spots, though? Yeah. It's already even, so. <sighs> Holy shit, you almost melted that shit, dude. Chill. I don't want to. Point one six. That's a point eight. We good there? Yep. That's normal. So the uh, the non spaced ohm down to a point oh eight. Point oh eight. Oh. If there were two of the same coil on that, it would have been point oh eight. Okay, so that there is just a, a one point six. Yeah. Okay. And then this one should be a point one nine or a point two. So Kenny, uh, Rob Yeomans says at Sherlock Holmes, I'll up my Patreon twenty bucks a month if it'll help you pay for your full Zoom package. Yeah. Okay. Deal. Absolutely. You gotta get his Where address. No. It doesn't pay up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have their addresses. I'm doing a giveaway. Oh, you are? Yeah. Cool. I'm giving them, like, the whole build set, and I'm doing wallpapers out of my, uh, some of my best Shit. coil short oh, shots. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we have like, to do that the fucking shot, dude. I totally forgot about that, remember? What, pictures on the walls? Yeah. I know. That'd be really cool. What's our time at? We got a minute and 30. We're going to have to restart the call. Damn it! I was like, ah! I was, I'm waiting for the results. <laughs> do I need to do anything to restart the call? Uh, if you want to have Isaiah host it so you ain't got to worry about doing shit, we can have Isaiah do it. How so do I do that? An just hit answer when he calls you. <laughs> yeah, I'll just call you back both through Zoom. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I fucking love this thing. Yeah, dude. It's so awesome. Once the call ends, of course, it actually fits. Of course, and, uh, everything. Yeah. You get yeah. as much time out of it as possible. That's a rock. And they're strong. It's that shit, forty-five like, minutes worth. Damn. Yeah. That. Oh yeah. You could easily torque too much out of it because you have so much a weight behind it, and yeah. it's just it would be easy to do. All right, your leads are a little unbalanced, yeah, but there. that's all right. So if you actually strain it out while it's on there, you could do that. Right. Okay. I'll turn it down a little bit. Yeah. All right, so we probably got what? about three seconds left, so I will call you. All right, let's back restart there. it now before we go any further. Yeah, right. What was place that? The suspense mounts. He right now he's at a point two two. Go ahead and end the meeting. Oh my god, are you? Are, right? you, are you the host, Kenny? I'm right, dude. I told you. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. How is that possible? Yeah, yeah. Because you're spacing it and it's <laughs> electricity die. flow. Let it die. doesn't matter though. Resistance <laughs> is by length. It's Spencer's not, mounting. It's, I it's can't wait to see what wins. The current can flow through whatever is which is going through.
And if you start brushing that, it's going to go down. Or up. What do you mean, know. brushing it? Like if you can see how it's heating up somewhat uneven, uh, unevenly. Mm -hmm. Like, see how it's coming up high over here? See, that's already even, and it's coming up high. But you can see how it's angled. Yeah. If you were to bring that down a little bit, like stick the fucking thing in there and pull it down. Mm hmm Yeah. I didn't know he's calling you. Is it gonna bling or some shit? I think, yeah, I think it'll ring. Oops. I shouldn't have looked up when I was doing that. <laughs> like, uh, burning the shit out of it. That's it. 0 0.22. 0 0.22. So that's actually like a 0 0.11 with two coils. That's the comp build, dude. Five or half spaced. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Where's the video? We're just start the thing like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> guys, <laughs> where'd you go? Can they still see us? No, everybody's frozen. They can hear us. Oh, here it is. Oh, hey guys. Hey. I invited you the first time. I don't know if you got it or not. Nope. Who won? Guess what? I won. Yeah, oh. right. I won, bitch. Oh, look at him. What's, what's, the, what's, the, what, how, what, what's the results? It actually went down higher than I expected. It's a point two two. Uh, hold up. Your space build come out to uh, a point two two, two, two single? So if I were to put two coils of the exact same coil on there, it'd be a point one one. How is that possible, yeah. though? So you went higher. Yeah, your spacing is higher. Yeah. By point, point oh three ohms on a dual coil. Yep. How is that possible? Because it's it's an... No. More power can flow through to it because... When you well, if you look at it this way, when you when you merge those coils together, that's basically becoming one unit. There's no space between it to where it has to travel more. It's got like a shortcut. Exactly. It goes straight instead of curves. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. Exactly. You had a better way of describing that. Because flow goes right through all of them yeah. and around. Which on lower. Oh, that makes sense. Because I, I, like the way I build your your uh, vape dragging oil core um, orders. Like, I'll use the same amount of length for different types of coils. Like, seven yeah. wraps on a two versus six on a three. Exactly. And it'll be the exact same mm -hmm. if I use the same length. Exactly. But if I space them, I could get higher ohms. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I could bring these down a little bit, too. You got them kind of long. Yeah. They need to be brought in. Yeah, okay. Well, that's, that's good to know for you know my future building purposes. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm never going to get exotic. I might do a few clapping. That's be it. That kind of, like, turns... That turned my world upside down a little bit. <laughs> you should see it right now, dude. His hair's all over the place. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. Okay. I do this for a living, man. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just wanted to quote. Yeah. I, just wanted to quote I just wanted to quote you while I punched you in the balls. <laughs> so fucking <laughs> wrong. <laughs> He's wow. going to take my house now. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to have flat tires when he goes to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm sure you prove like me wrong, that. motherfucker. You gonna regret it. But yeah, I see. Yeah. I understand. Like I understand now, uh, being spaced, the each wrap isn't in contact with itself. Mm -hmm. When they're right. in contact, that's a conduit for electricity to, to transfer through. As, yeah. But when they're spaced, it literally only has the path of the coil to transfer. Yeah. Yeah. But makes sense. The laws of length still are accurate. Like. Yeah. It's spacing is different. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Miles and Aaron it's are really well. calling hacks on this. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Bullshit. That was yeah, we didn't see it live. We just heard the audio. We didn't see it live. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm I mean, believe me, I didn't want to be wrong. I don't like being wrong, but I am. <laughs> it's all good. As long as you know now, I mean that's that's the most important thing is to learn something new, man. Yeah, I'm all for it. A lot of these guys, right, they'll come at me and they'll be like, not come at me, but they'll, uh, they, uh, like some people have acted like I'm the end all be all of coil building. And I'm like, that's, I learn all the time. Yeah. I'm constantly learning new ways to do it. Like 
The day you think you know everything. Yeah, you should just stop. Yeah, you need to doing. quit because you definitely don't. I learn all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> Here's a prime example. See, that's cool. Now, like, I can, I can, the, you know what this would be great for? If you're running on a regulated box that won't let you shoot below point, uh, point one, you can space them out, especially when you first install your coils, because they always look lower. They always read lower, but once you get them heated up, the ohms yeah. generally raise for you. So you could space them out. Well, I shouldn't say that because that's a dangerous way to do things. Never mind. No. Yeah. Because if you're trying to fire like something way too low well. and jerry rigging it, you know yeah. that's not a. But yeah, well, if you're around the point oh eight and you're shooting for a point one, you could space them out to get your point your point one. Yeah. And uh, and then once they they heat up and go up, you can push them back together. Now I'd okay, love so to know the you, science behind how that treats the cotton. Like as far as when you fire it and the juice and it. the surface area. What happens is your cotton doesn't get like that block of burntness. It yeah. actually the ring from it being coiled up like that. Right. It actually runs along those lines. Right. So your cotton's not gonna get fully engulfed in like a burnt state of shitness. Mm-hmm. It'll just be those lines. What about performance? They're awesome, dude. The fucking I don't know why, but it just heats up such a nice, even flow. That, that was so even. Flavor is just fucking fantastic. It's not like it's hot so quick. Right. It's a nice, warm vape. Because my my compacted normal coil was like boom yeah. red, and yeah. yours was it's like a nice glowy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean that's a little high, but yeah. Yeah. Damn. So How they're about questioning, that? They're questioning the, the lead sizes. Are they were they all the same? Yeah, what I did was I did it by length because I know uh, Ohm's Law based on length. So when I tightened down the leads of both coils because we clipped it at, at um, length, wrapped the five wrap, and I cut the leads evenly. So I installed the leads. Um, they were the exact same length. So, yeah. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Pretty yeah. crazy. What was that, the 20 gauge? World yeah, flips. 20 gauge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alright, well now that I know the results of the science experiment, I need to actually <laughs> go sell some booty. Um, as Thad said, or somebody said a little while ago, working the corner. So I'm going to go driving around town, but you all, it was awesome being here with y'all. And Charlotte, I'm telling you, hey, when Charlotte comes around, CK and I are both going to enter the cloud contest down there. And I'm you gonna could teach a couple things. The water. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, excited, dude. I was trying to explain some of the technique that you guys use. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, there's a, it's a lot more than you would think. It's not just blowing a cloud. There's a whole well, lot of things to it. I'm going to my very first one this weekend. So I, I'm, I'm going to use the Nichrome 90 coils I got from you and because they, they already give you great clouds. So What's the, uh, the ohm limit? We'll see how it works. Is there an ohm limit there, Country? Is there an ohm limit? Uh, no, it, um, there isn't. There's just classes. There's two class, reggae class, and uh, uh, what's that one? Outlaw? What do they call that? Um, Shit. Outlaw. 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 It's like four different classes. There was like outlaw, outlaw class, outlaw. and or uh, something else. And there's there's another. There's a fourth one, but I can enter three of them. I think. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna just have fun, get some experience. So that way, when I see you down there, CK, I'm gonna call you out, dog. Hey. <laughs> I'm looking for competition, brother. And I'll yep. point and laugh when country loses. Hey, probably dude, I will put you in the rack. Right. The shitload of juice. <laughs> All right, chat. Appreciate y'all hanging out with us. I'm going out. I'm going to work. I'll hit y'all up next time. All, All right, buddy. Man. Take All it right. easy. Take it easy, brother. Bye. And beep beep. And bloop. So steam engine doesn't have a spaced option. Yeah, that's true. That's absolutely true. Can you pick a $20 oh, here. here so I can help you with your Zoom membership? Um, yeah, buddy, I think the way, um, I think the way the Patreon works is you can go at whatever level, oh, I see what you mean, right, because I have then 10 and 50, yeah, um, I'll, um, I'll do that tonight, Rob, I'll put some, uh, some cool perks together for you, too, it's a good time, because I'm about to do, uh, a giveaway, and the giveaway has, like, the staggerers, build swivels, I'm gonna put a couple, um, like completely unique, um, like Patreon exclusive uh, builds. 
in there so i'm gonna get those out hopefully this week or next week but um yeah so i'll get that done i'll put that together tonight after the live stream thank you so much for supporting man that's that's awesome all right but yeah so oh uh, they have wrapped spacing not that i've seen yes I, miles i haven't seen an option for space wrap either my world's kind of upside down right now with that spacing <laughs> that's pretty like, pretty cool hell? All right, let's build a coil. Taking chat uh, chat suggestions, I'm gonna build a coil, and I'll put it on the website for five bucks. So, drop some suggestions in there. I have um, I have the Mad Rabbit wire in front of me, and every other gauge. So that's what you want to use, baby. Yeah, I'd recommend depending on what you're putting it on. But yeah. So let's see. What do you, what do you think, Isaiah? Well. Coming from someone that knows absolutely nothing about <laughs> coils above a Clapton or Fuse Clapton. Go go fucking crazy, man. Do something crazy. Actually, I made a uh, a Fuse Clapton out of the 24 gauge Nichrome 90 and 40 gauge, and that thing was fucking vicious. Yeah. But not normal spaced option. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I just looked up on Vape Tool and he doesn't have... Uh... He has everything but spaced. He has Fraples, fucking aliens. Really? Yeah, dude. Literally. Do they have it for iPhone? Uh, no, you have to pay for it for iPhone. How much is it? You know? I think it's like five bucks. A month or one time? I think it's a month. I think it's one time. Cause that'd be worth it. See, look. I just need a fucking right here. Raider. Parallels, normal, twisted, wow. clapped, and ribbon, fuse clapped, and alien, tiger, staple, staple, staggered. Fuse clapped in. I have those on the website now. Juggernauts, yeah? Yeah. Staggered clapped in. I mean, he's got everything. Besides fucking... Spacing. Space. Right. And then you can go back up to this. And you can actually put in how many coils you're doing, what wire you're using. And wow. Look, look at all the wire he has. Oh, Anything he has it all. Canfall, nickel, nichrome. He has 90? Yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome. That. I need that. Nichrome 20 all the way up to 90. Gauge, 25 gauge around a 3.5 to get a 0 0.08 resistance. Look, I did an aid oh, verification. I did it right. What? Oh, shit. So the chat is saying frame staple N80 stage with 24 gauge stainless steel, and then someone else said try a frame staple with your square wire. I like that idea. So here's my Yeah, website. that sounds cool. I have the staggered frame staple. Oh shit, yeah. And those are pictures of your actual coils, right? Yeah, yeah, I shot all these. Yeah, the Staggerton's on here. Yo, that looks legit, dude. Right? Looks good, right? Your prices have gotten better, too. Mm-hmm. A lot better now. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, for the... I like the, that you included all the, all the shit that you need, too. Yeah, the build That's tools. That's awesome, yeah. There's the limited edition one. Yeah, I mean, this these coils will take me... I mean, these are, like, you know, some of them are, are yeah. really reasonable. Yeah. But, yeah, the ones that take me forever. Obviously. I've actually sold a lot of these, too. No shit. Yeah, like four of them so far. Dude, I mean, you're making great fucking coils. Uh, there's no reason. Seriously. And I got uh, coupon codes. Pat patrons get 20% coupon off. Coupons. All right, so let's build a frame staple. See, I'm in production mode, so I've got, like, four-foot pieces of wire all over the place. <laughs> all right, so we're going to build with the square wire. Oh, Jesus Christ. Parallel. 25 gauge. I need more space, guys. I need more space. All right. Um, I'm going to do these frames. I'm going to do 0 0.5 by 0 0.2 frames. These will be my f outside frames, and I'm going to do I'm going to do a staggered frame staple with the square wire. So I'm going to space clapped in the square wire. Or the three five with five millimeter legs. 0.08 is five wraps with a 25 gauge. Perfect. Yeah. Is that what you just made? Yeah. That's awesome. 
That was a total guess. That was good, uh, good co building in intuition. Sorry, I dropped you. All right, so first step, I need to straighten out. Uh, how big are my? Right. About yay much. Is that your form of measurement, yay large? Well, I have uh, all my ribbon wire prepped out. It's up here. Um, mm -hmm. But normally I actually measure it. Okay. But I just kind of set it up against it to get the size. All right. I'm going to straighten this out. Yeah, it's so many people, like, all the time DM me or send me messages or emails, and they um, they are like, will you sell the tools that you use? So that's why I started selling, like, the swivels and stuff. Are the big guys doing that, too? I don't know. I don't, question. I don't think so. If they do, it's probably fucking expensive as shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Mm, I should have given myself a little bit more length on this because oh actually no I'll be okay this stuff is really malleable same here Chris Bridges vape stuff takes up all my free time yeah right mixing and now that I'm gonna start getting into coil building and everything it's gonna be a going to be a journey and it's going to be a lot of time taken but it's fun that's all he says just the fucking kid yeah i'm like i'm staying on a more personal level yeah dude all right we got that i'm going to grab my staggers and i'm going to do it with 36. Okay. Let me get this started first. Yeah, Isaiah, you're on chat duty, man, because I'm, uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm watching right now. They're just kind of chatting about building and what they love to do so right on definitely field me any questions that pop up yeah yeah for sure All right. my hands are sweaty I hate when this happens when I drink too much coffee or vape too I much and Especially with this thing, dude, like you're ripping on it, all of a sudden you're just swiping your ass yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then for building, it makes it so much harder because my hands are slipping off the wire. Mm -hmm. What the hell is this? Dude, quick. Oh, it's his, uh, his cotton balls. Get the hell out of here. Cotton is like the easiest thing to sell because you just buy standard cotton and put it in a tin or a bag, and, and then it's your it. cotton. Yeah, they're Japanese just cotton, cotton sheets. They're cotton sheets. That's all they are. And he probably wants, what, eight bucks for the pack? Seven bucks. Let's
Hey. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's just like so relaxing just to sit here and just watch coils <laughs> be wrapped yeah, and everything. Fun. Does anybody else like get this that? tool that I built? Holy shit. It's the staggerer. I sell it on my website. The easiest way I've ever found to make staggered. I was gonna ask, are those balls hanging from your wire? Or They're what? weights. No shit. I've, I went through so many different combinations trying to figure out the correct weight. Holy shit. But that just works That's perfect. Heavy yeah. Hanging from your wire like that? You'd think, right? It's like heavier than you would think you yeah. would need. But I tried, like, I literally bought every size I could find of the weights. Like, I bought some from Amazon, like, off sizes, mm -hmm. all, and that combination just works perfect. And do they, are they intended to be like this? Yeah. Or did yeah, that's, you, okay. Yep, that's the intention. Yep. Cool, man. <clears throat> and those aren't, like, they weren't intended to be separate. Like, a lot of fishing stuff on hooks and mm -hmm. stuff, those I had to, like, fuck with the wire to get them together. Yeah. All right. And what did you just use here? Uh, this is a piece of square wire. Oh, okay. Yeah. 36 on it. I feel that's five. It's uh, not sunk, but feel that 5,000 foot spool. And that's Holy so shit. heavy. Holy shit. That's 36 <laughs> kg. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that is heavy as hell. Yeah. You it's still have a shit ton left, too. I just got that one. I oh, went through really? my old one, yeah. It took me a month to go through 5,000 feet. Yo, I mean, 36 is crazy, but didn't you have like 50 or some shit that one day? Yeah, I have, I have 46. That's what it was, 46. Yeah. Thousand feet of that feels like nothing. Yeah. God damn. This is beautiful. Shut your hole, Wang Chung. Alright, I've got Should I do an eight eight pieces uh, for the core? That's too big, right? Wait, what? I'm doing eight. a staggered frame staple with square wire. So if I fold this over, it'll be 8. What's the diameter of the square? The square is 0.5 by 0.2. This is 0.5 by 0.1. So it's going to be like a staggered frame staple. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be taller than it would be wider, right? No. No? Mm -mm. It would be wider than taller? Yeah. I mean, it's going to be like... Bad, dude. You've done fucking 12 flat wire, so yeah. it's probably going to be the same area around there. All right. So I've got a question for everyone in chat, since uh, you guys are all chatting about building and everything, this is a little bit different, but uh, what are you guys vaping on, like, you know, coils and mods and RDAs and all that fun stuff? I'm curious to know. Oh, uh, I've got a piece of twisted wire, motherfucker. What a spun. Yeah, well, well, one of them is just, like, has a, a twist in it, yeah. So like I can, oh, I can see it. I can put them all flat, but then when I get there, that one piece just bends out. Shit. Which will fuck up my whole build if I can't fix it. Whoa. What are these for? Those are the 325 gauge Nichrome 90 cores. Whoa. Yeah. So those are going to be exceptionally low. Whoa. What's I'm sending right? those to uh, to one of my Watsons. Uh, this guy named Chance. Triple he's he made me one of these a swivel stand. No he's shit. He's a woodworker. Yeah. yeah. And I haven't seen it. I don't know anything about it. But he's like a really great woodworker, and he's uh. He's sending me one. I'm sending them. So a, these are fused alien, or fused. Yeah, fused fu alien. yeah. Okay. Alien fused Clapton. What is so going Aaron on? Aaron Owens has a custom DNA 250 with a 4200 mile lipo, using Ooh. the Goon 1.5. Man, I freaking love my Goon. I don't have the 1.5. I have the original, but dude, I, I love the Goon. The 1.5, dude. The airflow is so much smoother. Yeah. And. It's just a lot cleaner. Like the O-rings that hold the cap on, are so much like denser. If that mm -hmm. makes any sense. <laughs> denser O-rings. Yeah, it just feels so Thicker. good putting on and off that 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 cap. Hmm. I'll just take a look at that because like I really love the goon and the the 1.5 is it 22 or 24? 1.5 is a 20 like 
five and a half or something like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, I'm gonna have to pick one of those up because I, I I love my goons. So. I mean, they're on the the lesser end of expensive. I mean, we sell them for sixty five. You have them? Yeah, we just got them in today. And they come in rose gold, gold, stainless steel, and black. Hmm. Alien Clapton, I guess. Number of cores, three. Alright, guys. I have one... One half of one of these pieces of ribbon is kind of twisted. Which might throw up... Throw off the whole build. Um, but I'm just going to roll with it. And we'll find out. And what, what gauge did you say this was? 25? 325s? 325s. Mr. Miles made a great statement. He said, what all of us need is a way to recycle our wasted wire, melt it down, and make new wire from it. Imagine <laughs> how much money we could save. Fucking A, dude. How much wire we'd have friggin' left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> When I first started building, I wasted so much wire. Mm. Yeah, I imagine that's how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do too. <laughs> Even not just like messing up builds. I mean that obviously um, wastes a lot of wire, but using too much wire and you get done and you have to clip like four inches of wire off the end because you didn't have enough alien to do it like just stuff like that it's just I, I to this day I still do that stuff man everybody's rocking the good 1.5 two people so far it's, that's crazy it's very popular already it seems yeah the original goon was too it was like ground breaking when it came out yeah, I can't find them really anywhere locally. I found it at one shop out of the three that I have in my town within probably a span of 10 miles. Everybody else was out of the goons and their t uh, their drip tips. Where do you live? St. Cloud, Minnesota. Uh, so, I'm far away. Minnesota. <laughs> I'm flying out to the Vapor Expo to come chill out with you guys. So That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, man. It's gonna be a fun weekend. Why is this keeping me on? That's weird. There's Big Country. He's back in chat. Big Country. <laughs> So Jay Conqueror wanted me to let CK Clouds know I'm rocking a Minikin V2 with my Goon 1.5 with a lemon tart and 11 by 11 or um, I have no idea what that mod is 11.1111 Mac mod and the new Buddha from Vapors Clouds with Bean Town O Face. Oh, uh -huh. you, uh huh, O Face, dude. <laughs> Yo, that juice. That's is a great so name. So good. It's what a is it? strawberry, strawberry cream or a strawberry custard. But it's like a strawberry that punches you in the fucking throat. Like, it's so good. Like, flavor out the fucking taint. <laughs> um, and he also said, CK, you want a new cloud comp setup, get the the um, mech mod that I just mentioned, the 11 point... I don't know what it's called, 11 by 11 or 11 point 11 11, and the new Buddha. I want to see the new Buddha. I haven't actually seen the, the new Buddha. Um, I have to check that out, man. That sounds like an interesting setup. And it's VCM, is that what you said? The um, let me just let me go back up to the comment here. It is. He just said mech. He didn't. He didn't. Oh, vapors cloud. Buddha vapors cloud. And he just he didn't say what the mech was made by. Oh, that guy. Is that the uh, the twenty seven hundred mech mod? Yeah, it is. Awesome, man. That's like the new thing now. Uh. 2700 the battery size yeah it's not 20 it's literally 2700 instead of 18650 yeah it's a I little really bigger. want a 2700 mod is it all is it a clone or is it is it authentic 
I'm not sure. We'll see what he says. Oh, whoa. It's a very ergonomically shaped device here. <laughs> Look at it. Country's giving me shit. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay, they're both by Vapor's Cloud. Yeah, I know the... Uh, I just want to know if it was actually authentic or not. That's awesome, man. Oh. That's a great setup. And the... Uh, I didn't even know they made a new Buddha. What is it, a V2 Buddha? Um. RDA. Here we go. Whoa, it's a 30 millimeter? Yeah, they're massive. I scratched. This is not. Uh, I'm going to sell this on the website, but it's not going to be for $5. <laughs> New products. This is a ridiculous coil. This is an Instagram coil for sure. Whoa. Mini Buddha 2. Yo. That was like my first what love was VCM mods. Yeah, it was. Um. That's all I ran was the VCM tube and brass with a boot on top of it. And I ran that thing for months and months. And then I came across SOI. So he's got the authentic for 135 and yeah. then the RDA is 55. Yeah, I'm looking at their site right now. I'm trying to find that RDA. They only have the uh, Buddha Mini. Fucking spool is so heavy. Glacier three. Obese Buddha. Twenty-five millimeter Buddha V three. Oh shit. Oh shit. Here it is. Found it. Yo, look at that build deck. That is huge. Oh my god. So, Mr. Miles asked Sherlock, out of all the coils you've used, what build would you choose to vape if you didn't have to build it? If I didn't have to build it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't understand the question. <laughs> Why would I, I not have just, to. Like, well, if. I, I mean. I guess he's just asking what out of all the coils, what would you choose out of every coil available? I I guess. Um I would probably go with either like a I don't know. Um that's a tough question. Because um like, if I was going to go show it off, I would choose one thing. If I was going for straight performance and longevity, I would go for another. Um, mm, that's tough, man. The Staggerton is definitely one of my favorites. Like, any multi-core staggered fuse Clapton. Um, by far one of my favorites because of the... Uh, the performance, the clouds and flavor on that coil is just second to none. Um, I'm a big fan of the Alien Frame staple. A lot of staple coils are just awesome. This coil. He says if you don't have to struggle with making it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, probably like a six core staggered fuse Clapton or a like some kind of variation on a frame staple like a pitchfork or something look at this coil whoa holy shit Can okay see so that Dutcher's right got a question no. for Mr. CK Clouds he says let me, let me pull it back up here he says what is the lowest I should run my VCM stacked oh god dude uh I wouldn't go below a point three, honestly. Uh, like a point, a point three is gonna be pretty intense. 
Um, a point two is going to be too much. I know people are going to tell you that you can run it, but as soon as you hit that button on a point two, hmm. even if it's like a point two five, point two seven, it's going to heat up so fucking fast and be so hot that you're not going to want to vape off it. A point three five is going to be comfortable. You'll be able to whack on it, and it'll save you a little bit more battery life. Have you ever used anything stacked? Yeah. You like it? Um, I do, but it's too fucking bulky. It's I don't know. so obnoxious it's, it's looking. It's huge, yeah. People look at you like, what the fuck is yeah, this? Yeah, you are doing? such huge. a douchebag. Yeah. <clears throat> it's fun, though. I mean, you yeah. get to experiment with a different build style. You could put thicker, massive coils on it. Mm -hmm. Instead of running aliens, you could run fat fucking Claptons yeah. with Canfall, and it'd be comfortable as hell. And still give you the same sort of exactly. hot vape. But yeah, if you're going to run a stacked 0 .3, 0 .35. Yeah, don't push it. Do not push it. You're running Make two series. Make sure your wraps on your batteries are fucking okay. Motherfuck. So what's the difference? I mean, I, I know the basic principles of like uh, what the difference is, but what's what are the major differences of like a stacked versus a single 18650 mod. So when you're stacking batteries, it goes from a single battery to two, obviously, but is you're putting the batteries in series with each other, which means you are doubling your voltage. Instead of mm -hmm. it being a 4.2, it's now an 8.4. All at once. And all that power is going into that RDA and into those coils, so it's like double the amount of just power. Everything. Everything, yeah. You want to make sure that your build, if it's too low, like I said, if you're about to put a point two on a stack build, be ready for fucking your coils on fire, burnt lips. You don't want to do that. Um, it's just doubling your power. Building that low, okay. it like, it wouldn't even be that comfortable. No. Like, as soon as you hit that button, those coils are at max temperature with a point two. So Mr. Miles has a deep question for you. He says, here's a deep question. After you put your pants on, do you zip and button or button and zip? <laughs> zip and button. Button and zip. What kind of crazy asshole buttons and zips? <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing it right? That's a fucking deep question, bro. That's a deep question. This is the kind of question Colin and I will start fighting <laughs> oh, about. Fuck? Why do you zip no, and man. then button? <laughs> Why? You start to get curves and love handles if you do that. <laughs> All right, so here's another question for CK. He says, noisy cricket at cloud comps, single batteries only. Uh, is that an either or question? I, he has a question mark after both, so. Okay, so the it noisy depends. cricket, which one, the V1 or V2? I would not run the V1 in anything. I would throw it the fuck away. Uh. The V2 is awesome. Um, Ooh, I have a buddy that I work shit. with, and he runs the V2 in series mech mode with a .4 coil, and it's fucking probably one of the best vapes I've ever had. Okay. If you're thinking about going anything with a series box, I would just go series, buy a series box. <laughs> you can find some cheap ones out there. Okay, so he's running the V1. Yeah, I mean, do the V1 is sketchy. Just build at a point .3. Just build at a point .3, the same thing with a stack. Uh, you put some nice Canthal Claptons on that at a point .3, and you're going to run that comp. As long as you know you got your technique down, you're going to run the fucking train on that bitch. <laughs> I love my noisy cricket. Yeah, dude, it was fun. Yeah. It just scared the shit out of me when I put a point .2 build on it. Yeah. And I hit that button. Oof. It was way too fucking hot. <laughs> it's like a nuke. Insane. I would put like helix, like stapled helix yeah. coils in there. All canthal. Yep. You can get some vicious flavor. And I love how hot that vapes. That was hot. Yep. Alright, fellas, we got a minute left on the call. Thank you, Zoom, as always. Those are good questions, guys. Yeah, keep They're them awesome coming. They're awesome questions, seriously. Yeah. That's why I love having you on, because there's a lot of stuff that is outside my scope of knowledge, like all that comp stuff. Yeah. And I, I, I'd love to get that shit out there, though, because people, if you don't know about it and you want to hear some some in-depth shit and you actually want to listen, 
Yeah. That's cool. I don't mind telling you. They do, you. too. My subscribers are the best. They, like, want... They seem like they're very... They want to know. They're on point. Yeah. That's awesome. So should we... Should we uh, restart the call real quick? Yeah, go ahead. I'll I'll answer it when you call. All right, man. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I can't fucking make O's anymore. All right, guys. This is a bitch of a coil. Yeah, it seems we're having issues. The uh, it just takes forever. Holy shit. I can't, my eyes aren't as good as they were when I was toying. That's why you gotta put these things on, man. I know, I hate them though. And you know what? They don't work all that well. Whoa. And I've gotta be like this close to it. <laughs> and they look better on you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, word? Word. 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 <laughs> Flavor, flee. <laughs> with these oh my god it's be so close yeah it's it's like not as Holy useful shit. as i would hoped it was Yo, these coils are awesome bro which one these ones <laughs> <laughs> you gotta close my eye like a little fuck bag though i was gonna say something else you gotta stop saying that shit yeah you have to be somewhat politically correct <laughs> on youtube you see what i'm fucking wearing right now <laughs> Oh, I missed one. Dun, dun, dun. That's a pleasant ring, isn't it? And we're back. No, nope. and we're back. Hi. Right. Zoom is fucking up, man. Is it? Yeah, I, I invited you, and I didn't hear anything on the stream, and I... I had to invite you three times to hear anything on the stream, even. I was like, I hope I'm not spamming him to shit, but I don't want him to not get the invitation either. <laughs> yeah, I only got it that third time. Huh. Any good questions come up? Um, let me take a look. Let's see. Just people chatting, it looks like. Cool. Oh, here we go. He said, I'd like to know the whole technique for cloud chasing, or the whole technique to cloud <laughs> chasing, the whole push technique. What's your take we on it, We should do CK? a whole video about that. Um, see, in my area, when cloud chasing first came in, um, the whole push thing happened on the West Coast. Um, pretty much for the first... For the first three seconds, you wanted to hail somewhat slow. For the last two, you want to be somewhat quick, inhale faster, and then once you, they say go, you exhale most of your cloud, and then you try to get underneath it as much as possible and blow as straight as possible. But there's a lot that goes into exhaling. Um, I mean, what really helped me was just practicing, man. You want to first see how much lung capacity you have to try to get that well, how, however much they're they're clocking you in at time wise, either it's they're counting down from six or five or four. You wanna you wanna tell like what your body can actually inhale in that limited amount of time. Um, and then obviously your build, you have to get used to the point oh eights, the point ones safely. Um, but pushing is like I said you just let out a massive thick dense cloud ahead of you and you just try to push it as much as you can um, when I first came into the scene up here in the northeast it was mainly uh, it was a different set of, of rules it was density connectivity and overall cloud so density is how thick it is Connectivity is where the cloud is to where the, the vape stops coming out of your mouth. It wasn't overall as how far you can get your dense cloud. It was how long of a stream can you get coming out of your mouth. Um, I think it's bullshit how the rules change. Everybody looks yeah. for something different. And now it, it's, it's kind of tough to, to tell what the judges are looking for. If you go anywhere that's like big time, they're always looking for the push. 
Um, but I mean, people, it, it's 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 weird. Like, if you can do a better cloud than anybody else in a different way, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for a unique, big fucking cloud. <laughs> um, I can always this guy. He's on he's on Instagram. Levi Crouch. Uh, the kid is is amazing. He's he has a different cloud than anybody else. Just the way is that, that why he wins. He's insane, dude. Um, just how he gets it out and so fucking far, and it being so thick, it's insane. No homo. <laughs> All of the homo though. Yeah. But no, I mean, you just want to practice. Just just practice uh, different ways. You know, just try doing the push at first. You can do that. But just inhale slow for the first three seconds. And the last two, do it quick. And then start practicing, you know. Put, put some out and then try to push it and get underneath it. Just keep doing that. Keep fucking with how the air comes out of your lungs. Um... That's all I can give you. Cool. Yep. Good and informative. Yep. A little bit long, but... There's a lot to it. There's a lot to it, man. I mean, yeah. people just think that we're inhaling and exhaling, and it's not the fucking case. So Aaron Owen says, such an amazing stream tonight. <laughs> Is he being yeah, sarcastic? Buddy. I don't know. Text, man. Can't tell, but I'm, I'm assuming he's being genuine. All right, we'll and if take you are, it. that's awesome. Was it Mr. Miles that gave me this idea for this coil? Uh, let me look. See if chat goes back that far. I feel up. like this would be a Mr. Miles recommendation. Hmm. Yeah, spare batteries for 750 a pop. Need them. I do. And that's like below online prices. No! Oh, did that just snap? Did that just snap? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It snapped. Damn. We'll just super glue it on there. <laughs> no issue. Yeah, fix it. So you're doing a frame staple with square wire, right? Yeah, well, staggered frame staple, yeah. Um, Rob said try a frame staple with your square wire. Hey, Rob. As, as the staple. Hey, bud. Fuck you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, Fuck you, man. You. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, my gooch is so sweaty. Mm. Are you still using that fucking RTA? The goalie, whatever the fuck it's called? Yeah. I just set it up there today. It still has juice in it. It needs to get re-wicked and rebuilt, though. Yeah. Are the same coils in there? No. I forget what I yeah. put in there. Jay Conker, I, the Rig V2, I've heard it hits pretty hard, man. Um, I know Country, I think he has a Rig V2, and he says it's Country pretty good. Country's sending me a Rig V2. Pretty good Yo, mod. Oh, like the full setup? Mm -hmm. And okay. stainless. Yeah. Dude. I know, right? I mean, stainless, if you can get a rig, man, they were one of the best hard-hitting hard mods I've, I've used. They're nasty. But if you get an SOI, that's probably the best goddamn mod you'll ever find in your life. Honestly. New one, old one, blemished, not blemished, whatever. I'm all about blems. They're cheap as shit, too. You can get a whole setup for 60 bucks. That's outrageous. That's insane. $60. 60 bucks. Full copper. And it's worth so much more than mm -hmm. that. Like, they're so... Yeah, they're going for... So they awesome. were going for, like, 200 bucks. Not even like what they're actually worth, but as far as like oh. what you get for your Longevity, dollar. Yeah, dude, like they last fucking forever. I mean, just like anything else, their their clutch system is completely unique. I mean, silver plated contacts, up and down. They will never arc so your battery like normal. 
Switch systems do. So Chris Bridges is asking, anyone compare the broadside to the Admiral? Um, if I'm not mistaken, the Admiral is the same as the broadside pretty much, except it holds a 2700. Yeah, that's the only difference. So, I think with know, the Admiral, I mean, you can actually go between both batteries, can't you? Yeah, I think there's a sleeve that you get with it. Yeah. It's like a dome. So, I mean, if you're looking at one or the other, I'd say get the Admiral. Yeah. It it's a great mod, though, the broadside. I'm using it right now, actually. This is the broadside right here. It's a clone, but this thing, it hits really hard. Mm -hmm. Broadside. And aren't they from, uh, like, Europe or something? I'm not sure. Does anybody know what broadside means? Yeah, the big hold side. Hold on, hold on. I want to hear it from them. That's my question to you. Uh, Chris Bridges also asked, is one hit better? Um, I'm not sure because I haven't used 2700, so I can't say if it's, like, a... Well, sure the 2700. That'd be a better question for CK Clouds. Uh, the 2700 is basically going to carry more Ma. I don't know if they've actually came out with a hard hitting battery yet for that style. So if you're looking for overall, like, how hard it hits, I would definitely go with the 18650, just the broadside, and get, you know, some good batteries there. I don't know if they've actually came out with, uh, 2700s, yeah. What would you say is the best battery for hard hitting power? Um, Aspire has a battery, it's at uh, it's an 1800 milliamp hour. Mm -hmm. It's an ICR, it's not an IMR, it's a different chemistry. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the safer batteries. Um, I know Mooch on, on Reddit and everything kind of bashed them because they are a different chemistry and. I don't know. I, th I just have, I've never had a battery actually hit that hard, that s such a different, such a broad span in between like a 25R and the 1800 from Aspire. It just, it's a completely different it beast. It really is. It's a different beast. And that's okay. all I use. I have fucking 15 of these batteries, <laughs> and that's all I use. So everyone's saying broadside is most commonly recognized as a nautical term, the simultaneous firing of all guns on one side of the ship. There you go. You Google that shit. No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Or he's just, he knows everything about ships. Yeah. That was good, though. I mean, really, all right. I... I'm looking at the uh, the price here for the broadside. Um, the copper. I don't know how much it is. It's not telling me. I'm guessing the copper is up in around 160. Let me see. Batteries, mods, box mods. Yeah, it's not telling me. Broadside mods, no. All right, so Mr. Miles is heading off to bed, so later, Mr. Miles. Mr. Miles, thanks so much for Peace joining us, buddy. Admiral, here we go. So how's that coil coming along? It's coming, slowly but surely. It's a massive pain in the ass. The wire broke once already. When you're working with square wire, like with the uh, with the round wire frame, when you're staggering it, you can have your spacing with on your Clapton's like loosened up so you can have more play with them. But on this flat wire, the square wire, it doesn't move once it's wrapped, so I have no play. And it's making things a little bit more difficult for me. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they definitely... Um, I'm looking at the Admiral right now. Um, I don't know if you're actually be able to see this, but... 
Um, let me see if I can get the glare. That black piece there, that goes inside the tube. There you go. So you put yeah, the a, one next uh, to the copper piece. Yeah, that the uh, that's a tube. Oh shit. <laughs> And that black piece is made out of Delrin, and that just slides in with your battery, 18650. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. That's that's cool, but, you know, I mean, they didn't really change much on the actual design, which was a bit of a bummer. No. But, I mean, if it, if it works, why the hell change it? Yeah, that is true. I, lo I love the button on this thing, man. It is, it is awesome. Yeah. It's short, quick. I like a really quick throw. Yeah. Have you actually seen a broadside? side? No. No. Oh my god. Okay. Calm down. Alright. You out of here? Surely. This is why those two coils are $20. Because <laughs> I have to do this. They're actually more when they're not on sale. So HD Lawn Maiden says, what's up, vaping fam? Hi, at Sherlock Holmes. Hey. You. I think it'll take forever. Yeah. I'm moving quicker than I was. I got in a little bit of a groove. Oh. So Jay Conker asks, CK, we were talking about where to buy those batteries and I found them at Fast Eddie's, the Aspire ones. Are they the 2500s or the 1800s? Um. You want to be careful too. Um, there's not too many places that actually have these batteries. Um, there's a lot of companies that are trying to remake that battery since it is such a hard hitting battery. You want to be careful. Read, uh, read their reviews. I know there's one site, I forget what it was called. But they'll tell you that, yeah, you're buying this battery, and then they'll send you the 2500s. He says it's the 1800. Okay. Um, Fast Eddies, he said? Yeah, Fast Eddies. All right, let me see here real quick. So, Nalo Joe, I, I'm sorry, I can't say your name. I'm just going to call you Nal. He says, Sherlock, I'll try to do a review once I get the coils you made for me. Cool, man. Appreciate it. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you're looking for content, go for it. Um, anybody who placed an order last week, uh, when everything got shipped out, I sent my wife to, uh, I didn't send her, but she, she went to the post office for me and uh, neglected to get tracking on the packages so I apologize for that but they should be there um, in the next few days um fast eddies that looks like a good a good uh, reputable site, site yeah reputable site to get it from I mean they have yeah, no actually, reviews but they do have the batteries it says there's 87 in stock uh, they're 11 bucks I mean yeah I tried out he said he talked to a lot of people on the Purge comp team and they say they're legit and that's all they use and yeah, I know you're talking about My Freedom Smokes. Is that who was ripping people off with the batteries? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one site that was ripping people off. That's crazy. Hmm. I, bought, I bought my nicotine from there. That's uh, good to know because it's probably not the best nicotine. No. If you're going to go through and get nicotine, you want it to be, like, uh, naked. Nick Select or something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to buy from Liquid Barn or something like that next time I do an order. There you go. Man. 
Yeah, they're they're good, man. I would definitely buy a couple, at least get two, just to see the difference. So Aaron Owen asks me, what setup are you using today? I am using a broadside clone. It's just the 18651 and um, just a goon, goon 22 with a couple of 24 gauge parallels. Uh, I think it's four reps on a three millimeter bit. So it's about 1.11, somewhere around there. I'm just going to be over here, guys. If you got any more questions, let me know. I'm going to be leaving here probably within the next five or ten minutes. Yep, so get all your questions out now. I mean, I'm on Instagram, too, if you guys want to... If you have any other questions, um, like we've been saying, it's CK Clouds with a Z. Hit me up there. You know how I've always had the underscore in my name? Yeah. Sherlock underscore Holmes, because yeah. somebody had Sherlock Holmes? Yeah. I was fucking around with um, with country the other night, and we we're talking about how it drives me crazy because everything else is just Sherlock Holmes, and so I went and typed it in just to fuck around, and the guy deactivated his account, so now I have just Sherlock Holmes. No shit. Yeah. Awesome, right? Yo, really? That literally that underscored every day since I created it drove me crazy because I'm like ridiculously. I'm just ridicul ridiculous about that kind of stuff. Yeah. But so, yeah, I got it. Sherlock Holmes. So this is the 19th? Yeah. Okay. What do you do? Uh, Todd, yes, I do live in St. Cloud. That is that is my yeah. area of residence. And Aaron, yeah, dude, I love the simplicity of just parallels. They're just so easy to make, and I'm not a crazy coil builder like Sherlock here, so. Yeah. You know, not yet. Yeah, not yet. We're gonna get there though. Isaiah, you're uh, Holy shit. you're you're one of the lucky ones. Um, you'll get free build lessons, like one-on-one -on -one <laughs> build lessons. Yeah, man, I get teach by the best or nah, taught by the I don't best. Know about teach that. is not a word. I'll teach you what I uh, know though. Come on, man, you're the best in my eyes. <laughs> oh, thanks. According to my mom, I'm the best. <laughs> yeah, man. There you go. Oh my god, my eyes are killing me. I switched over to every other too, just to get fancy, and now I'm regretting it. So you have 11 in here more than the one that I'm taking. Okay. So, Jay Conker, um, where is the best place to buy your Nick? I would suggest going to something like Liquid Barn or Nicotine River. They both have Nick Select, which is the best nicotine you can get. Um, as for ratios, so you, you probably want to either go... It, it's really more on a um, personal preference. Uh, if you like thinner liquid to work with, go with 100% PG. If you like a thicker, slower drip to your liquid, go with 100% VG. I prefer 100% VG, but you know, everybody has their preference. Um, Todd, uh, any good shops in Saint, in the St. Cloud area? Um, this is gonna be a bit on the preferential side, but uh, I say either eSig Emporium or eSig Lounge. Um, those are what I go to. I don't go to Megavates. What? I'll bring you the money before I leave. Yeah, that's fine. Just because um, I'm not a fan of the owner there, so. You know, I prefer those two right there. Yeah, Aaron. I'm sure Sherlock will help me with those Fuse Claptons, Aliens, and the Frame Staples. I've been watching a lot of his videos learning, and I'm going to start with some Claptons coming up in about a week here when I order some wire, so we'll see where that goes. I always recommend starting with Claptons. Just take your time, man. Yep. Don't rush it. Alright. I need a break. Yeah. Yeah, my eyes are killing me. I have enough 
for one coil so far. Ugh, I can't believe that far. That's crazy. Piece. Uh, the two companies were Liquid Barn, and the other one was uh, Nicotine River. Just search those in on Google, and you'll be good to go. And they also have like the concentrates and all kinds of stuff that you'll need at uh, Nicotine River too. So it's a good spot to start for DIY liquid. Oh, and who was asking all those questions about uh, cloud comps and stuff? Uh, Jay Conker. Jay Conker, okay. Yeah, There's man, no problem. Get to, uh, get to mixing. Good it's a fun little hobby, and Is you it? can make some yeah. no great liquid for, like, pennies. You won't even probably go over a dollar for a 30 so mil, so... To people on Purge mods, he's got to know someone. This week? No fucking shit. Like before Friday? I think so. <laughs> Holy shit. The eighth. Are you nervous? No. You just take a day to day yeah, at a time. Dude, honestly. I'm I was nervous with, nervous with Phoenix, but uh Yeah. Yeah. You know, of course I'm nervous. It I've never a had a girl. Too, but still dude, like, you're a good dad, you know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, thanks. I'm more worried about not being able to get work done. That's yeah, my biggest honestly, concern. Honestly, dude, that... I mean, you saw, we were hanging out pretty much every fucking day. Yeah, and, and then, then I didn't see you. And two came along, and it's been, like, so sporadic. Yeah, two is a whole different story. A whole different ballgame. But we're gonna get Phoenix into daycare, hopefully. This car fucking killed us. Oh, dude, yeah. Six grand. Yeah. Six grand all said and done. Yeah. And that was, like, everything I had saved. And uh, so that like really set Is me back. Is it like up to par though? No, this thing's still fucking broken. Really? Yeah, we have a broken car still. I need a new engine in the Audi. Holy shit! I've so paid sixteen hundred dollars to put together a broken car, to put Holy back together hell. a broken car, and now we've got to so suit them. that was just labor. That was just labor, and we got like the timing belt changed while they had it open, and then storage for three and a half months to Whoa. sit the car there, tear down, put and back together. Lot? Yeah, at the at the shop, fucking Come killed on. me. That's nonsense. Yeah. Sue the shit out of them. At the warranty company and the dealer, we took it to the dealer. They told us nothing was wrong, and they knew that it was. They sold us a broken car from the beginning. Yeah, that's not the fucking first time, too. I mean, yeah. I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That shifty fucking dealer. Piece of shit. Yeah, there you go, Mika. You got yourself some flavors. You're set, man. You're going to start mixing, and you're going to be there in no time. You're going to have some awesome recipes coming out, and it's a ton of fun just making those recipes that, like, blow you out of the water, and you're just like, wow, dude, that's awesome. You're going to have a ton of fun with it, man. Well, I can totally see you. All right, those are pods there for you. Thank you. Oh, here's your fucking scissors. So yeah, I got a bunch of the pods cut up. Um, cotton. Just wait on the rest of it. Check it out. Whoa, is that what you just made? Yeah. What? That looks like all one solid fucking flat piece of wire. What, what, what? Where'd it go? It's been too far. <laughs> Where the fuck is it? It's on that green thing. Oh, holy shit. Whoa. Yeah, one of the wraps bent on me, but... Cool, the man. The most part looks pretty good. Alright, don't move. Damn it. 
Aaron, thank you, man. I appreciate you saying I have a nice commentating or podcasting voice. <laughs> it's probably partially due to my setup, but thank you, man. It, it means a lot. You do have a very uh, chill voice, relaxing voice. Well, I thank you. You should do like some audio books or something. Do some ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> go Purdy holy shit boy nice All that's right. a beautiful thing man only took him Two fucking hours. half hour <laughs> awesome anybody else anybody else have uh, questions or anything yeah before, before we wrap I bounce this up. Yeah, drop any of your questions for Mr. CK in the comments, and I'll I'll translate them to him. One o'clock in the morning. So Mika says, if those are going on the site, Sherlock, I want them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put them up. I'm only going to do like one though. I'll do an extremely limited quantity. That's just not a feasible coil to produce. It takes me way too long. Mm. Yeah, I was sitting here watching you. It took you like, what, 30 minutes to wrap that one coil? Yeah, that wasn't even both of them. Ugh. So Jake Conger says he'll look you up on Instagram, CK. Awesome. And what's, what's, your, uh, what's your Instagram? Is it CK Clouds with a Z? Yeah. Okay. Yep, so Mika's got it right right there. I legit want to come up and do a cloud comp with my jets. They keep talking. Dude, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I was like, we should do a cloud man. comp with just mouth to lungs. <laughs> it's fucking 45 milligram nicotine. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, probably not. <laughs> Alright, guys, uh, hit me up if you need me. Alright, later. Take it easy. Alright, buddy. Thanks later. for stopping by. Yeah, man. Do you, you have everything? I think so, yeah, I got my keys. Yo, did you check these? The three cores, what they would come out to? It wouldn't come up on my phone for some reason. But, honestly, um, if you... You could do another set of those, right? Yeah. Do you want to give it to me and I'll, I'll, I'll own them out? Yeah! <laughs> I'll let you know what they own out. Alright. All right. See ya. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's see what's going on. You got everything? Come back and check, because you always leave shit. Did I just hang up on it? Oh, fuck my arm. How long did it take to make my special order, Chad? Um, what did I make you? Uh, I made you the staggered staple, right? The staggered frame staple? And then an alien frame staple? Let me get your order. These are my orders from last week. Holy shit. Yeah, um, the alien, uh, not alien, but this, uh, it's pretty much the same coil, but with, uh, with round frames. It took, it took me about two hours, two and a half hours. You stole my mind yet. Maybe three. No, mine's got a sticker on it. Yeah. Mine was sitting right in front of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, because mine died, so I'm sitting yeah. nervous. All right, now I'm leaving. All right, now he's leaving. Later, man. Later. Damn, dude, that is a pretty coil. <sighs> Looks like it was a bitch to make, though. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it's fine, Aaron. I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm putting, I'm putting the, uh, the, um, the, the wallpapers together. It's tough because, like, when I, so when I import my footage, um, I have to save it like on external hard drives, and so when I go through Lightroom or Photoshop, uh, it's like I. Uh, by the time I get it cut down to um, 
to Instagram. That's the copy that I have saved on the computer. So I've got to like go back and re-edit everything. So it's not because everything gets sized to uh, Instagram. So it looks the best with the amount of space that I can upload for each image. So I got to go back and re uh, redo everything. And um, I have two hard drives, so I'm like jumping back and forth between them trying to find um, the best pictures. I also want to do, um, like if you guys want to look through my Instagram and let me know if there's specific pictures that you guys would like as backgrounds, um, I'd like to do that as well. But they should be coming soon. Wasting all that wire, man. I feel like I'm going to do the same. I'm going to waste so much wire <laughs> when I first start out. Yeah, you do. You do. That's. I recommend getting that, that multi-pack from KB and then like a thousand feet of, of 36. That's a good place to start. Should I do like nichrome or? Uh, it depends. How, you like to vape hot, right? Max and yeah. stuff? Yeah, I'd go yeah. nichrome. Okay. Definitely Nichrome on the 36. Micah, I got, um, well, the uh, baby's due on the 8th. So today is what, the the 6th? Yeah, so any day? Any day now? Getting there, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally. Be an adventure. I could I could get the text right now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, unfortunately, one of these days, um, I'll probably give you guys a little update um, once we get home and settled. But, uh, you know, we're just kind of taking it easy and hoping for the best, hoping nothing, everything goes smooth and we're home in a few days. But I got my bag packed and we got the nursery done and all that kind of stuff. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Wait, what? 1,200 feet for $10? Dude, that's a better price than when I buy it by the 5,000 foot spool. Yeah, I get like 100 feet of that off Amazon before I was, before I learned of Sherlock's ways of buying the correct priced wire. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to get uh, smashed on the wire. Like, cause especially I went through it too in the beginning. I was like, oh, well, Amazon, everything's cheaper on Amazon. And so I was buy buying my wire there, but it is not cheaper on Amazon. Oh, yeah, man. Like, my local vape shop sells, I think it's like 30 or 40 feet for seven bucks. Oh, yeah, you'll get hosed at a vape shop. Yeah. But I had to buy some because I was all out and I was like, well, I have nothing to vape, so I need it. It <laughs> happens to me sometimes too. When I run out, I got to go local. I can't. Um, no. I Try not to let that happen, but there are some times where I screw up and run out of wire. Mm -hmm. That was everybody's 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Yeah. They have a wholesale part on them. Oh, no shit. Bulk sale. KB has a, uh, a wholesale um, site, but what they do for their wholesale is they sell it like wholesale for shops, not like wholesale for builders, unfortunately. So you could buy, like I could, I could buy their wire, have it, have them slap my logo on it and get like the same spools that you would buy from them. But that's not the kind of wholesale that I need. So I'm working, I'm looking into a company now to get the Nichrome 90 and I'm hoping at uh, some point in the near future I'll be, be able to offer you guys Nichrome 90 at a reasonable price. The only Nichrome 90 I've been able to find is the 12, the Mad, the mad Rabbit for 12, $12 for 20 feet which wow. is an obscene price. And there you go, Chris Bridges. I had fireworks right outside my front door across at the park. That was some fun shit, man. Yeah. Got a bunch of pictures, and it was a good time. 
sixty dollars for a five five hundred foot. Wait, what? That is crazy. Uh, what site is that from, Rob? All right, let me see what's going on. I got way too many screens going. All right, guys, don't forget to hit that thumb up, thumbs up button. Yep. Um, all right, we're almost at the three-hour mark, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going here. And uh, thank you, Isaiah, for joining. Yeah, man. Definitely go me. check out uh, Gentleman's Eliquid if you're into uh, reviews and mixing and stuff like that. He's got a great channel, trying to, trying to increase his exposure because he's got good content. So. Definitely you, want to get that out there. Uh, thanks, everybody, so much for watching. Thank you to the patrons for your support. And you guys are absolutely awesome. Again, I'm getting that giveaway put together and hopefully out by this week, um, probably next week. And I'll keep you guys updated with the baby. And uh, show a shot of your build. Thanks for the show. You're welcome, HD Lawn Maintenance. Um... What, of this build? It's, it's hard to like... It won't really focus. Are you going to throw like a picture up on your Instagram of it or something? Yeah, I'm going to throw a picture up here momentarily. Um, but yeah, so check the Instagram. I'll, I'll put a picture up there for you guys. But all right, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut it out here soon. Um, if you guys want to support the channel, uh, Patreon.com/SherlockHolmes. I've got some pretty cool perks and more on the way. And uh, definitely check out Isaiah's channel, Gentleman's Eliquid. There you go. There's his there's his uh, his channel right there. And, thank you. Thank uh, you. Uh, yeah. What else? Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Isaiah, thank you so much for joining us, buddy. Yeah, thank you, man. I really appreciate you having me on. Yeah, no problem. All right. We'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye.